welcome in. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. On, uh, like I said, beautiful Friday. Welcome, welcome. Good to see some familiar faces up in chat. Well, fa faces. Uh, uh, chat. Good to see familiar chatters up in the the chat. That's probably the better way to say it. <laughs> welcome in, nerds. That's what I should say, right? Good morning. <laughs> Good, good morning. Um, yes, today is going to be interesting. I did add some new effects. Uh, I was playing around with some things. We'll see how it goes. Um, the ability to flip the screen is going to be a weird one. Uh, it does have a 30-minute cooldown, so it shouldn't be as crazy. But it is it is a pretty cool effect. It can flip through the screen. Um, there are a couple of other effects that I might implement later on, like the ability to invert my controls or... The ability for me to randomly be tripped up. Yeah. That one's a fun one. Uh, I am using the uh, the generic B utilities, uh, which is a, a nice little pack that adds some weird B effects. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. Anyways, good morning. Good snowy morning, man. I wish it was snowy here. It's rainy here. All we got was a lot of rain. A lot of rain. Still raining. Still raining. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is the... This is the screen invert. This is going to be awful when I'm flying. Oh my god. Well, I've already... Yep. That's going to take a lot to get used to. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. That's going to be a lot. Now it's on a 30 minute cooldown. Uh, so use it wisely. <laughs> use it wisely. Um, I, I'm going to hate when I go to the end. This is going to suck when I go to the end. Alright. Anyways. Um, so those were a couple of the effects added. There are probably going to be some more added. I just have to take a bit more time. I don't want to do it during the stream, but today during the stream, I have a couple of goals that we set yesterday while we were streaming. And that was XP farm automation, enchant our gear. Mike, dude, I haven't talked to you in a long time. I hope you're doing well, my dude. Um, enchant, enchantment gear or enchanter gear after we get the, uh, the XP set up upgrade to hopefully netherite tools by this time. And then I do want cosmetic samurai gear and then, uh, start building. So ultimately today I want to build what this storage area is going to be. So that's some of the goals for today. So I'm pretty excited. Um, what's the plan on netherite? Good old mining. Kind of. I think our, our upgrading our gear is going to help us a lot when it comes to netherite mining. It's not going to be netherite mining in the sense that you might be used to. Let's just put it that way. Or we could just drill. That's another thing we could do is just drill it, um, which is an easy thing we can do. Classic R's mining. Yeah, lots of booms will happen possibly. Um, we will easily be able to find netherite. It's super easy to find it with ours. Um, and not only is it easy to find, uh, let's see, there's also the scry. And once we do find one, we just scry it and we can see them in the walls. So you do have x-ray pretty much in this pack. So if there's any ore that you need, you can just scry it. And you can see it. It's that simple. Uh, really helpful for, for ancient debris. <laughs> you what? Yes, this is basically x-ray. So yeah, you place this on a pedestal. And then you augment it with the block that you want to see. And then you can augment it with a... Um, I believe it is the modification essence or whatever that one is. It's orange. I believe you modify it with that, and it gives you 15 minutes of basically x-ray. Yep. It's a potion uh, that gives you a vision of whatever thing you want to see. Yeah, yeah, but it's kind of like the ore charm. Yeah, like the charms, like the potion master charms. Um, so, without further ado, I think we're going to be setting up to hopefully get some sort of XP farm started. Really don't know how this is going to go. Um... <laughs> This man, this man, dude. Thank you so much, by the way, for that prime. I appreciate that. So what do I want to do? What, how do I want to go about this? Because you guys have told me there's a lot of different ways and we can set up a, a small, simple version of this first. 
Um, we are going to need crushing wheels. Um, and wherever we choose to set this up, we need deployers. We might have to do a little bit of mining because we're going to need zinc. Right, we're going to need a little bit of zinc. Um, let's see. And copper because we're going to need quite a bit. Let's grab some copper, all the copper we have. And we're going to be crushing silverfish to do this. It's going to be interesting. Got any tech progression pack suggestions for me that I can get through in like two dozen hours? Not kitchen sink, but college. Try mechanical mastery, Mike. You will probably enjoy it. Mechanical mastery is really good. And it's not very long either. And it, it does use quite a bit of create, but not in the way you might think. A lot of it is still thermal and mechanism. Well, yeah, me there's a lot of mechanism. It's really cool. You can set up like a 25 times ore processor. It was so good. It was awesome to set up. Mechanical mastery is really good. And it's a sky block with EMC. So um, EMC is limited though. It's like one EMC pack that actually is limited. Like it doesn't feel OP. You'll go download that. Yeah, I have a whole series too. Like if you get lost with anything, I have a whole series that I cover everything in. Don't get mech mastery though. <laughs> yeah, it's mechanical. Okay, so uh, we're going to need at least a deployer, I guess. That's how we're going to do it. And then a drill. Right. Um, so a mechanical drill. I think I, I actually, I don't, I don't think, oh no, I should have mechanical drills back at the base. So last stream, if you missed it, we ended up getting ourselves a way to teleport around because ours being as powerful as it is, allows us to teleport from one location to another, making the ability for us to have our systems separated. And I, I really like this. We can still have our train networks roaming around, which is going to be how we transfer items, but we can transfer ourselves through these portals, which is going to be super nice. Now, yes, um, let's see. Flywheel in backend instancing on instancing. Flywheel limit updates on while we're in this area. All right. All right, so that makes it at least playable while we're, we're over here. Um, yeah, wherever we decide to set this up, I'm thinking we can also, now that we're in the point where we're at, we're able to make Starbuckle wheels, which allows us to portably, oh my God, never mind, these are expensive. You need that many Starbuckles to make one wheel? What kind of lunacy is that? At least it's shards though. But still, I mean, I guess we could find Starbuckles quite easily. They literally spawn everywhere. What does that do? Uh, this is create power. Um, now, this is running slow because I want it to, but it actually goes really fast if you give it gold in front of it. It's a way of generating stress from Ars Nouveau. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and pick up all of our crafting gear. And we'll bring this with us. Um, this is our cart of everything. Create. Oh, you sorry. You meant the flywheel command. Uh, yeah, that's part of flywheel. So if you ever run into any problems with like um, uh, rendering and in, in like low FPS, you can run flywheel instancing. And that will make sure because instancing is, is a good one. Batching is not so good and turning it flywheel completely off is horrible. But limit updates is really nice. Limit updates can dramatically help with frame rate. I I have found it seem I mean it can it seems like it dramatically helps, which is really nice. Why is this so backed up? Like how far are we backed up here? What is these are runes used for anything? They'll probably be used later on. Possibly. We need it for test tubes. Well, thankfully, we do have a, a supply of them, apparently. Yeah. 
What's our limiting thing here? Yeah, just not sending. Okay. That's fine. Um, what I might do, let me grab you, put you here and you here. Now it will split evenly. Hawk Halo 117 <laughs> just gave out two subs. Dude, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Thank you, my, my dude, for the two gift subs. Um, see, why do you have flywheels if they cause FPS issues? They don't actually do anything. <laughs> Unless it's a recent change. No, no, flywheel as in... Oh, God. Flywheel as in the, the, the performance enhancement that's in here. Oh, God. Wait. I'm so confused. Did it not trigger the other two gift subs? Wait, what is going on? Now it says five gift subs in chat. It hasn't hit yet. It broke. No. Oh, God. Halo oh God, there it goes. Just gave out five subs. Oh no. Unfocused. What is started going on? Started up the helicopter at, 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 We just at, at, got to started, chat. 500 hey. days. Holy Halo crap. Halo 117 just gave out one subs. Daystar Zero just gave out 10 subs. Oh my god, that character skin is so cursed. Did you see that? That's so cursed. What is dead Dude, die? That's the salty so word is here. <laughs> hawk with the five wait, the hawk with the two two gift subs and then the five gift subs and then the one gift sub. Thank you, dude, for the 10. Hawk Halo 117 subs. just gave out 10 subs. The Hawk with the 10 more subs. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Here we are. Spinning in circle simulate. That's so cursed. <laughs> that skin is so cursed. I can't. I can't right now. I can't. It's too much. Codona um, 14. No. Just Kodona. gave out five subs. The star with the 10 gives subs. Welcome back, by the way. Dude, thanks, thanks guys for all the... Holy smokes, man. We have... Wait, are we... What is my sub goal set to? Are we about to smash a sub goal? No way. Oh God, getting tripped up is not the time for this. Wait, the sub goal's already smashed? What? How? I just want another high training mode. Holy smokes, man. That means we should have, I, I believe we should have unlocked a new emote. I think. Maybe, maybe not. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're punching. We punched him to death. Thundle Ryan just came out. Jesus Christ. Subs. Oh, my God. Zephyr Z3R0 just gave out one subs. What the heck, man? Thundle Ryan, dude. I, that's a lot of freaking subs, man. 50 subs. And I'm. <laughs> Zephyr with. A gift sub as well. 50 gift subs, guys. Like, this song is true. You're like, losing my mind, falling behind. Unfocused. We just Dropped started, chat. I've only been live for 21 minutes. Meow. Unfocused Meow. on their dropping the salty bits. Meow. Bada. Bada boom. I'm just waiting for my gear to break. It's going to happen eventually. Chat. Okay. All right, all right, chat. Okay, all right. I see how it is. It's a Friday. I get it. 
I get it. You guys are super hyped. It's Friday. All right. <laughs> Starting it off right. Yes. This is how you do it. We, I wanted to make an XP farm, and now we got it. This is our XP farm, apparently. We got plenty of XP now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man. It's too much. It's too much. Weary Chip with the 10 months, man. This is the laggiest place for this to have occurred as well. It's so laggy. That's a lot of freaking gift subs, though, dude. 50 gift subs, dude. That's a lot, man. We just hit 1,808 subs, which equals, with all the different sub tiers, 1,839 sub points. Which, if I have a way of looking, I want to figure out. I, I don't remember what it's under. I should be able to see if we've unlocked a new emote. I think. I'm pretty sure we have. And if it wasn't the 17, we I think we've definitely, this is, I think, the most subs we've ever had, I think. I could be wrong. I wish I could see. I don't remember exactly how to get there. It's under viewer rewards. Emotes. I've got to look, chat. I've got to look now. I'm pretty sure we just... We have 39 slots available. We did just... We unlocked... Where do I see our next level? Okay, unlock progress. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Twitch is on another level. To unlock another emote chat, we would need 3,200 subscriber points to unlock another, e to unlock the 40th emote slot. Thankfully, though, I do have five animated emote slots available now that they just recently added. That's so, that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, honestly, having as many as we have available is quite a bit. I will, I, I, I could never ask for more than that. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Dude. Thunder Ryan, dude, thank you so much for the 50 gift subs. Katana with the five gift subs. I do want to say thank you guys, by the way. Unfocus with all the bits, the, the salty bits you drop. Hawk with the, what was it, 20 gift subs? Jeez. Death Star with the 10 more gift subs, especially from yesterday. God, you guys. Thank you. Star sparking a random hype train. Like, what? What even? Tech Josh Frick. started up the helicopter at 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 to give chosen five thousand bits. Let's go! Oh, in the <laughs> oh no! Oh no! One of those days. One of those days. Jesus, dude. Did that hit? Oh my god. Let's make it sus too. Oh, and you use the sus bits, man. Dang it. How long is the cooldown on the screen flip? Right now, 30 minutes. It is 30 minutes. Oh my god, they're all falling off the edge. We've got to get up here. Oh, I can't. While well, I'm, well, I'm tripped up, I can't. Okay. Did someone say more salt? <laughs> no! Well, let's go. We're still catching up. Hey, 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 hey. Let's make it sis too. 
Oh, you guys make this a blast. I tell you what. I tell you what. What do you think, Coggers? Coggers agrees. He's like, hell yeah, man. Oh, my God. Absolutely nuts, you guys. Heck, dude. With the... 5,000 bits, man. <laughs> I need to... I do need a spinning Coggers emote. I need to figure that out. I wonder if my wife can make it. She might be able to do it. Like, if, even if she just made a regular emote, I can make it spin. Oh, thankfully we have VODs. So I can see you die. I'm scared to die in the void. That's the thing that I know could absolutely kill me at this point. Holy smokes. Well. Chat, is it out of your system? Oh my god, that that was the that was the skull. Actually, I need that skull because that skin is so cursed. That is such a cursed skin. It's almost as bad as Waifu Kermit, but not. I, it's not. It's not quite there. It's not quite as bad as Waifu Kermit. That's for sure. It could be worse. Could be way worse. Holy smokes. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's so funny. Why is that so funny? It's hilarious. I love that. <laughs> That's so freaking funny. <laughs> I could look at it all day. I don't know why a 16 by 16 texture could look so funny, but this one's actually it's not even 16, right? It's 8 by 8, right? <laughs> that unibrow life, man. That thing is thick. <laughs> it's a skin layer. I love that. Or a hat layer. Oh my god. Tech, what are you doing? Tech is staring at the end. Is there something in there, man? I'm just staring into the void. Oh, wait, he's gone. He's not actually here. Oh, my God, Tech, that's the inside? What the? It was never meant to be seen. It was never meant to be seen, but we have seen it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You've seen some stuff. You've seen some stuff, man. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so mobs can go through. Mobs can go through. That's very interesting. We're going to be making, hopefully, a farm that's based around this. <laughs> I don't think that was ever meant to be seen. <laughs> oh, God. Things have happened, right? So can trains go through those gateways? No, there's actually other gateways that they can go through. So they can, they, they have to go through some other gateways. By the way, I will be fixing this hub. Don't get me wrong. We will, uh, we will fix this. Uh, I needed to come here for some brass. We still don't have like brass automated yet. So I need to, I guess, wash this, right? We just need to wash these materials. Yeah, these need to be washed. Um, okay. So, again, thank you guys for all the, the hype. The hype train. Uh, that was insane. Uh, literally 20 minutes in. 20 minutes in. And you guys are already dropping insane bits. Like, 6,000 bits. 87 gift subs. Jeez, man. Thank you, guys. 
<laughs> no, I walk around. <laughs> Servers and dirt face. Oh my god. Wow, tech. Thank you guys. Also, good morning. I know you guys basically just said good morning, but good morning. Especially those of you who may have just now made it in. Good morning. Ah, cheers. And or good afternoon. I guess good afternoon to, to those of you who is afternoons right now. All right, do we have zinc? This was the thing that I was worried about that we might not have enough of. Um, let me go ahead and drop this though real quick. Let's drop this down. Boop and boop. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure in my processing, how many drills do we have? Two. Um, yeah, I'm in central right now, so it's like 11. Okay. I kind of want to make a cart dropper just to generate some resource. Well, we could, or we could just do a track builder. We could move our, our drill potentially underground. It may be a little harder to move. Like car contraptions, we can easily move, but <laughs> car contraption, we can, we can easily, easily move, but these we cannot. Hmm. And there's like an easy tunnel bore that we can make. Um, that involve a few drills. But that's like the whole, all right. So, you know what? Oh God, I did not mean to go into my car contraption. Um, let's see, let's get some emeralds. Books. I think we have enough XP to potentially get our pick to at least a fortune. And I think that would be good. So let's do that. Let's get um, a fortune three, efficiency five, unbreaking three, mending book. Right? I think I I think I know how to effectively combine these all together. <clears throat> I could be wrong though. But I need to combine it to this tool. Um and I want to keep the vein mining. Cuz getting these books are getting the vein mining books are incredibly difficult from what people have said. You can apparently get them from enchanting, but yeah, um, so let's get our anvil. Hopefully this isn't too expensive to do this. Okay, so it already has Unbreaking 3, so we can go ahead and e exempt that. We'll put these books together. And chat, do you have any, what, what are the rules for enchanting books? Because I always mess this up. I always mess this up. Don't we enchant what's the cheapest thing to enchant? Good luck with your infinitely expensive repairs. Fortune three, efficiency five. Yeah, yeah, we have mending. So if I combine these together, I think it's expensive first, isn't it? No. It's like binary for combining. Okay, yeah, so we take this and then we combine it with this, right? That's what I thought. And then this will have a book that only has two combos on it. That's only ever done two enchants. And then we take our pick and we combine it and that's 19 and that will give us efficiency five and breaking vein mine fortune and mending. Okay, we should be good. Um, so here's a thing that I also wanna test out. 
Does these XP orbs, do they repair your tool? They do not. Let's see, four, nine, eight. Four, nine, eight. Four, nine, eight. Okay, so, unfortunately, that doesn't repair it. <clears throat> okay. That's interesting. Um, so, if we made our farm only give us those, can you put XP in a tank and drain it out to you? I think, let's see. Uh, the, the, I don't think there's an, there's the experience from Reliquary and there's the experience from the backpack upgrade, but you need a pump upgrade and I would need two upgrades, which we're getting close to it, um, to make the XP pump. And once we do that, then our backpack can keep our experience stored uh, or have a backpack that keeps our experience stored. And then we can repair our tools with our, with our backpack. So that way I do know. But apparently blocks of this can be compressed down into these ex uh, experified ores. And we can get this from crushing mobs. Right? We can crush mobs to get this. And silverfish are easy to do because we can haunt stone apparently. So, uh, but we just have to have a way to place stone and break it. The chapter four thing. Okay. Well, for now, I want it for myself. I could make an Enderman farm, I guess. But we also have this way of doing things that I can just repair my tool right now with. Um, let me go ahead. Hey, where did you guys come from? Okay. Out of nowhere, apparently. Uh, so what I should be able to do is do some trading. With this in my offhand, that'll get me repaired up pretty quick. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do some training. All right. Here we are. By the way, that's the waifu Kermit, chat. All right, and our pick's already almost fully repaired. Look at that. Gotta love mending, man. Also, is the crafting of bottles XP bottles in here. Um, we could trade them from villagers. Not that big of a deal. All right. Goodness, I got like one beard hair that keeps sticking up. It's kind of annoying. Sort the books expensive to least with a tool in the leftmost slot and pair up each enchantment with another until there's one left. I'll have to look up, I need to eventually look up what's the best way to enchant so I can fully wrap my head around it. Pretty sure Lucky Zuma has a video on it or something like that. Okay. So with that fixed, um, that was one of the things I needed to get done because we have to go mining and we need brass. So yeah, we still have to do some vanilla mining. It's like we don't have an infinite way to get zinc, right? Or to get brass. There's no like infinite recipe, right? Maybe there's zinc nodes in the world. Um, cause there is, isn't it underneath the automation chapter, the like automation. So there is, okay. So the Azur, Azurine, wait, can't we find this in the world as Azurine as Azurine? I bet we've seen it in the world. You can create a drill mine. Yeah, that's, that was another thing I was thinking about doing was just doing a cart contraption. We use like a furnace mine cart, cart assembler. Um, deployer. 
uh, deployer, which we have. <clears throat> we need a bunch of drills. We need a few drill heads. Let's say, let's just do one. Mm. How many drills would we want? You can do a, like a long ways, or should we do like, a, hmm. Also, what picks up the tracks? Do we need just a thing mining to pick the tracks back up? Or does the plow pick the tracks up? That would be nine. That's a three by three. The plow can pick them up. Okay. What I was thinking though is maybe just dropping a huge contra a cart contraption just on the ground. Apparently, dropping it is a good thing, but then we run into another issue. I need andesite machines. So yeah, plows. Now I've never built one of these, so I've got to come up with this and figure out how this works. Um, we could probably use a regular cart, right? And have a, the, have it place the, the rails in a different way. Chests. I've never built one. Oh. I mean, we built our, our cart, but I, I've got to figure this one out. Um. You build them all the time. I think once I figure it out, it'll be pretty quick. So, let's see, you should do a tunnel bore with two deployers laying redstone blocks so it can span ravines. <clears throat> so redstone blocks and tracks. Or, um, rails. Powered rails. What you're saying? Powered rails, two deployers, one deployer that is, uh, let's see how much brass. That's another thing I was needing, right? Oh, by the way, we can put fortune on those now, can't we? All right, plow. All right, so we have deployer, andesite, so I don't need those. Uh, cart, minecart assembler, blocks of redstone to place to power our rails. But then we would need, we would need a drill to mine the block back up. <clears throat> Um, and then I guess we would place torches. I guess that's fine. We need another deployer. So we need the copper. Zinc. We need to head back and get this done. We'll figure, I'll figure it out. I don't think I'll, I don't think it'll be too difficult for me to wrap my head around. Um, I kind of, I can, I can already envision and see what, what like how this does this i just needed to know does the mechanical plow does it pick up rails 
Move the part. Okay, so okay, it can pick up levers, torches, redstone. So we can just have it place redstone torch. Well, redstone torches won't work, will it? I can also pick up snow. Interesting. Could you you can make an infinite snow farm with the snowman, right? Plows. Oh, can create farmland. I'm learning about plows, chat. I did not know. Oh my god, you yeet! We just got ye yeeted, man. What? You can yeet parrots, apparently. You also need extra deployers in front placing blocks. So there's a gap in the floor, otherwise the tracks won't be placed. True. Okay, so we need three deployers. Okay. All right, so uh, that means we need to put both of you in here. Uh, and then I need to give you some coal. It's pretty straightforward. We can talk to Coggers. But the thing is, is this doesn't let me silk touch. I mean, I guess whatever's in the wall. Because we can't silk touch with drills, right? Or fortune. So this is kind of inefficient. Man, look at that physical embodiment of lag. I know, right? It's so weird. You can see the millisecond like delays in lag from Coggers. Always booking it. I feel like we're we're capped out at redstone though right now. Look at that. We have stacks of redstone on here. So we're gonna need to send this redstone places. I think you use hoppers to feed your blaze burners coal. You're not supposed to be able to use hoppers. You need, you have to use an arm. Like for example, those that are infinitely being supplied. I have uh, some infinitely burning blaze burners up there. This was like my early contraption for like just setting all of that up to, to make it. Which I'm still using as you can see. Hey, we need some of these. There we go. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're getting somewhere, I think. Um, we're on our, our journey. We're doing something that was not on the list, but is needed in order to get there. Is there anything else I'm needing? We needed a deployer to place the blocks. We need the drills to mine the blocks. The plow. Okay. And we need our glue, which we have. I think that's it. Now we just need to figure out where to put this. What's the best level for zinc? Does it tell me? Okay, anywhere below Y level 70 is all the same. So anywhere. So might as well mine where diamond's at, right? Might as well. We might as well mine right above lava level? What's the new lava level? Just tell us what the world... No, it doesn't. Let's see. Minecraft... 1.18 lava level. They changed the caves. Um, you can venture negative 64, I think it was. 
Uh, below Y level zero is best for lava lakes. Um, the standing at Y level negative 55 is lava level. <clears throat> okay. We head back to creation station. I know we're going to need to set this up eventually. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. Excuse me. I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. Excuse me. Coming through. Let me through here, please. I'm getting down to my mind. Thank you. Would you please play Mine Colonies after the current mod pack or main cha on main channel? It's, it's a fun one. I Here's the thing. I've talked about Mine Colonies a lot. I don't know like what I'm supposed to do with mine colonies and, and how to make it good YouTube content, if that makes any sense. Because I have played with mine colonies and it's a lot of fetch quests, right? So you're doing a lot of like work for all of the villagers and maintaining it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'd have to figure out a way to make that like work well. Chat, what happens when this cart goes into a lava pool? Cart soup? Oh god, don't tell me that. I see the question mark though. Cart soup. I mean, it would make sense. Okay, we need to be. I mean, we're at negative twenty-five. We can keep. We can go deeper. One hundred percent. One of you is probably like chosen. Why are you even building a cart contraption when you can just mine like this? And to that, I will say you're not that fun. You're missing the point. Art will be fine in lava. Okay, good. There was a mod I remember a long time ago. It was like funky locomotion or something like that. It was before slime contraptions were a thing. So you had the ability to sort of glue together your frames to blocks and you can move like you can move all of your blocks connected together. I got in it, it. I think it was in one seven ten. I think it was an older version. And I remember having like drills and the drills or the pumps, I think it was pumps from Buildcraft, and the pumps would come down and they would mine out all the blocks. And so you would store all those blocks right using the, the pumps. And you could quarry with pumps. It was crazy back then. I know a lot has changed, but... That's kind of a cool thing that I remember. And, and Create really reminds me of that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, I think this is the block. I... This is so disorienting. Oh my god, chat. That is so disorienting. FTB Beyond had a uh, mod like that. Steve's Carts. No, it wasn't Steve's Cart. I think it was called Funky Locomotion. Funky Locomotion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, it had pushers and pullers. Frames that connect to the front of the pusher and puller. Yeah, and so you could essentially move. You could connect things to it and you can move all of your blocks. And it, it worked just like this does. Steve's cards was kind of cool though. Alright, we need to be at Y level 55 apparently. Standing at 55. 
And if we stand up, like 55 should be level level. So let's just go, should we, should we maintain at 55? I feel like we should probably stay at 55 just to be safe. All right, and figure out how to build our contraption from here. Hey, there's some diamond. Let's vein mine that with our fortune. Wow, well, that fortune didn't really help, did it? Four diamond. That was that was only two, so we got double. Actually, that's really good. There's the zinc I need. All right, I'm kind of interested to see how this is gonna work. Um, so the idea is we will have our minecart that goes in this direction. We'll have our cart contraption it's facing that way. How do we want to set this up? Pause anchors while rotating, always facing towards motion. That causes it to spin. I don't really want it to do that. Lock rotation that makes it where it can't turn. We can set it to lock rotation. We found out that lock rotation, lock rotation was super scary on our other build. So anything that turns your contraption, you may not want lock rotation on. Cause we chewed through a bunch of our buildings. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. So in this case, we always want it to go in one direction. So might as well lock it. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll have a minecart. Um, and then we need to make some blocks. So some blocks to build with. Okay. Um, now we need to pick up our track. So how does this, is this going to affect the cart assembler? Like if we set it up with the cart assembler here, like, is this going to go through the cart assembler? Cause we need the plow, right? To pick up the block. Like this. And it might be able to be even closer, right? We could probably make it even more compact. It'll pass right through the assembler. Okay, so we could do this. Okay, so that's gonna pick up the rail. Or should I move this back one, chat? You might want your cart one higher and where the plow is now at a drill, the redstone block. Okay. We'll add our drill. This is going to mine the redstone block. You'd move it back one if it was you. That's what I want to hear though. I want to hear the suggestions. You can suggest chat. Don't be afraid to suggest in in my chat. It's fine. That's what I that's what I enjoy. I'm a streamer that enjoys that. So you're saying something like this. Or however or on the other side it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so coming up with some more fanciness. Okay, so I'm assuming the block is going to power the rail the carts on or wherever the rail. It doesn't really matter where the placer places. Okay, and so up here we need, we need two deployers, right? We need a deployer that places a block um, down, and then we also need a deployer that places the rail. Um, the rail could probably be placed right in front of the cart. This would be fine for the rail like this, but this placing a block, does this, this has to be down one, doesn't it? 
I think the drill has to be in front of the minecart. Well, this drill is just for the contraption to go forward. This will probably have to be down one. To place blocks correctly. The drills will be in front. I'm I'm very close to adding the that tool mod, the pouches, tool belt, tool belt mod. Okay. Uh then we also need a deployer that places the redstone block. So that it would, would be the deployer that places the redstone block. Or blocks. Probably end up being more than one. But we have five. Okay, so we'll set what this is only going to deposit. This is only going to deposit rails. And this is going to deposit cobbled deep slate. Because that's what we're mining. <clears throat> and then the drills, well, they just do the drill, they just do their drill thing. Their due diligence. They know the drill. They know the drill. Yeah, that is true. So yeah, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is place them down because in this particular case, going three down guarantees us more diamonds, right? So we'll have a better chance at getting diamonds down here. And then we'll have our wall here. How do we turn this off? Like, how do we stop it? Pick it up with a wrench. Oh, okay, okay, good. You can just pick it up with a wrench. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Oh, chosen. You should know these things, you idiot. Kidding, you guys don't talk to me that way. You guys are too nice. one in the middle there like that that'll work that seems pretty decent right all right and then we need to glue it together okay and then we also need some chests right how are you going to store a meaningful amount of ore in this thing? A meaningful? Honestly, I just need brass. That's all I need. Uh, the way I'm going to store it is with uh, chests.
Believe it or not, chests hold a lot of crap, man. A whole bunch. And we could easily on the back here, or on the side, just so long as we can get access to the card, I guess, we can put chests. So... Like this? How I'm going to do it. That seems like quite a bit. Too bad you can't put an R's portal on it. Wait, why would we put an R's portal on it? Had another row. Yep, 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 yep. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting it done. We get it. Got it. We got it. We got it. It's going to look... This is going to be the sexiest looking train you've ever seen. It's going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at the caboose on that bad boy. Dang, that's nice. That's a good looking caboose right there. Chat. <clears throat> Make it back up. Yeah, we gotta he's gotta back it up. Kind of looks like a Skyrim cart. This is gonna be interesting if it actually works. The way I'm hoping it it works. I mean we need to put the resources in, so we need to put this in, this in, and the powered rails in. And everything else should work. Got some junk in the trunk, dude. It does. Cool thing is, is we can just, once we have it built, we can just pick it up, right? And just freaking move it to our base. We can just move this to our base, chat. I know having this go down here below will dig holes in the ground, but still, it can go in the base. It's insane. Should add a seat so we can go along for the ride. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. We need to go up and get a, a seat. Yes. Just 20 diamonds. <laughs> 20 diamonds. Oh my god. Excuse me? I know, right? I don't know how many was in that vein. But we just 20 diamond that up. With our Fortune 3. How many levels of Fortune did I put on that? I don't know. Apparently 3. All right, where do we put the seat? Like, should we set it? I don't want to... We got to figure out actually where we're going to glue the seat, because... I'll need a lever. Oh, yeah, I do, do need a lever. I have a lever. I keep levers on me. Believe it or not, I keep levers on me. Just add more blocks to the back and just put it on the back. I want to be like on it though. I want to be like riding on top. We could probably just place it in the middle where the chests are at. Do 
You should add a collector for the rails at the back. So it just runs infinitely. It does. That's what this is for, the plow. The plow should scoop up the redstone, or scoop up the, uh, the rails. And then this will place a block here. And then this deployer will place the powered rail. And then this will place a redstone block to power the rail. And this will break the power, this will break the redstone blocks. So that should work. What I was thinking of is like, yeah, we can have our seat right here. That's perfect, actually. There's our seat. And so when we're setting, we're like right below the head height. I think. I think that'll work. We're gonna get trapped, probably. Yeah, the more you mention it. Put a seat on this bad boy. How dare you. How dare you trip me up like that. Okay. We'll glue this to the seat. This to the plow. Plow in this. Goes here. Okay. This needs to be connected all through the center. Um, and this gets connected. What do you guys think of the way that this now works with the glue? Like, cause this was different. Very different how this works now. Right, there's a block there. We're already connected there. What do I need to do? Connect this block. To this. All right, that is connected. Um, let's see. This is going to. Oh no, no, that's not how I want to do that. Yeah, the way this glue is interesting. I don't know. Like this side's fine. This side needs to be done like this, and then like this, and then we need this. Okay, I think all of the main components here are connected together. I'll just make sure that's connected. Now we need our drill connected. Make sure everything here is good. I will have to run back to the base, I think, and I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm gonna need... I don't even know how to get this jump started. I guess it has redstone, right? It's on a redstone rail. It should work automatically. Should work. Um, I need some torches. Yeah, I'll need some torches on me. I mean, we have night vision, but torch is probably better. I think we're ready to go, though. I'm pretty excited about this. And we can just stop it at any time, apparently. Apparently we got builder's tea. Um, 
torches. Need more than 64. I swear it's always dark while we're playing. We need longer days. You think Zine used coal to jumpstart with regular rail? That would work. Oh, Zine, Zine built one of these? Oh, goodness. We don't need a whole lot of resources from this thing, but I've never built one. It's not a crazy hard to build quarry though. Like for, for what it is, this is a quarry. It's not that crazy to put together. It does cost a lot of iron though. That it does. But something that you can just reuse and move about is kind of nice. We do everything correctly. Looks like we did. Now, when this starts, it should just go. Physically push the cart. I'm doing that. I'm trying to push it. We had a trap door. I could probably push it. Or if somebody wants to trip me up, that might be another way I could get low enough. Hope that didn't work. There we go. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Down she goes. Okay. <laughs> mistakes were made. What were the mistakes though? So it didn't place the block. It didn't place the block. So how do we fix that? The deployer wasn't glued. Oh my God. Mistakes were made. That's so good. It was so sad looking. It's just like disappearing. It's so hard when you have so much going on here, it's hard to see what all is and isn't glued. Okay. So, let's get our glue. Glue that. And then we need to glue these two chests into here. Okay, now it should work. Why not use torches? How do how do I go about? Would I use torches? Um, in the plow plow pick up blocks, it can. So the drill doesn't drill torches, I don't think. But I could probably place something. How would I do that? I place like random blocks. 
I know torches can be plowed. But I wouldn't want to place it. I have torches on me, but I wouldn't want to have torches placed all the time. Two, three. Okay. So this should work now. Um... Can I get a trip up? I don't know if it has a cooldown. I don't know what's a... Wait, wait, wait. Is that glued? Hold on. That's glued. We don't want that glued. What's gluing that? Oh my god, now we have a trip up that we didn't need. Oh, crap. No, I need you. Okay, why are you... Okay. Um, great. Great, great, great. What did I just... Un... What did I just do? What did I just do? That should be glued, right? It's all glued. That's glued. Send it. I don't think I should. That's glued. Hey, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Thank you. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Dang it. This is hard. Why is this so hard? Why has it got to be this way? Dang it. Freaking cart madness, man. Cart mania. Okay, so apparently I didn't have that section glued in. Apparently it's not glued to itself. The plow wasn't glued to the rest of the machines, so it just left this, right? So is is everything hooked together now? Oh my god. Is the plow connected here? And is Okay, that looks like it connected this time. Maybe? I know, like what the heck? Cart shenanigans right here. That should be it. Bad batch of glue, yeah. Okay. Third time's a charm. Can I get a trip up? Who knew the trip up would actually come in handy? Anybody got the anybody got the channel points? Thank you. Okay. There it goes. I think it's working, chat. Look at it go. This will be a bad time for a creeper. I... It works. Yes, it does work. We have an infinitely moving machine now. And then we just get to go through here and place our torches. And then we get to run back through this. And we can check the walls. And then we can vein mine the walls. Oh my god, are we are we right above the lava level? Oh my god, it's perfect. 
We are right above the, like, right above the lava level. No, we're right on lava level. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, did I mess up? Ooh, my minecart does not like the lava. Okay, no, it's the rail that causes it to rock back and forth. Oh my god, look where we placed our seat. I needed to get cleared out so I can move it and move it up one. Hucker factor? Dude, this is... This is a nail biter right here. That's the hot seat? Holy smokes, man. Oh, thank God that doesn't do anything. Oh my God, it does. 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 Oh, oh my God, chat. Don't, why? Why are we doing trip ups right now? Oh my God, it scared the crap out of me. I thought we were running along. What's wrong with me? We're all out of screen flips. Yeah, it's got a 30 minute cooldown for right now. I might set it lower later. Okay, are we almost out of the lava? Oh, thank God. As soon as we're in the safe zone, I'm going to run around the side of this and I'm going to pick it up. Oh my God. Kind of scary, man. Okay, so we need to be one layer up, I think. So cool, though. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, God. Ridiculous. Oh, God. Did not mean to do that. Um. Why did it sound like buckets of lava were being... Okay, so as we found out, this needs to be one block higher. Technically. Okay, when we place this down, it is going to do the thing. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Put these in, these in. Okay, and it should be ready to rock and roll again, this time being the level above. It does need direction locking, yes. Okay, can we get a trip up, chat? Isn't that the wrong way? No, no, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> we're good. Okay. 
Oh, thank God. Pay me. <laughs> That's so Okay, and so I don't know why our chests are blue, but they are apparently blue. I'm surprised the lava doesn't break the rails. So does only water break rails? The <laughs> blue spruce. <laughs> It's because of the trench you make. Oh, that's so we made a trench and didn't even realize it had a use. Oh, that's right. You can you can put water under the rails now. I'm a dwarf and I'm <laughs> drilling a hole. Yes, that works. This is nice. So what are we going to do today, chat? While we wait for our uh, mining contraption to do its thing, chat. What are we going to do? What do you guys want to talk about? Oh, wait. I'm the streamer. I should be doing that, right? What's uh, what's hot today? Like, what's going on? Let's see. Google News. What's, what's, what's Google got going on today? It's not even loading up. Oh, that's great. Hi, Chosen. I just had a quick question. Just got into all the mods nine and watched Chosen's playlist on the episode where he upgrades a storage from basic storage scanner to disk drives. I want to transfer my storage like 5K blocks away to the new location. And uh, the question I have is if I put the items Question, if I put the items to a grid, they'll be saved on the disk, and when I destroy, move it across the map. Thanks in advance. Yeah, if you put if you put your all of your storage into refined storage, and you put it into a disk, or even the block, because there are storage blocks, if you put them into the disk, when you break the storage hub that's holding the disks, the disk contain all of your items. So just don't, don't lose your, your disk, your disc will go in your inventory, and then wherever you want to place that, there you go. It, all your items will be there. They're all stored on that disc. So, yeah. It's like a good old floppy disc, or a CD, or a USB drive, whatever you want to think of it as. No, all of your items come with you. Yep, yep, yep. How to get the create mod? Curse Forge? Um, you can download the mod from Curse Forge. Uh, Curse Forge is the website. It hosts, uh, a t it hosts Minecraft mods, but it also hosts, uh, world, uh, it hosts World of Warcraft mods, uh, mods for a ton of different games. Stardew Valley, there's all kinds of stuff. I just wonder if there's going to be anything we encounter with this that will cause us to break anything. What is it mining through? Is that gravel? Is that falling gravel that's making all that noise? It just handles all the falling gravel. That's so cool. Is there any way to speed up those drills? Uh, a create train. You can build this as a train instead. And that would probably be the faster way of doing it. I think. Are we digging another tunnel? This one's more of a resource tunnel. We're digging a resource hole. Can you show us the create mod? That's what this whole series is over. Need more drills? I mean, down there, we're also digging a hole, so... This isn't a huge amount of drills, but... Uh-oh, here's more lava. 
I'm scared, Jen. Oh, no. There's obsidian. Wait, this is going to mine obsidian for us. Oh, but we're encountering our first water. So what's it going to do on the rails? No problems at all. Okay. Oh, we, it's, we're not even touching the water. Maybe we will mine some obsidian? I know it can mine obsidian, but I wonder if it's slower. Oh, there's the water. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I know if we're on a train, we don't drown. I think if we're on this, we might not drown. Oh, we do. We're going to drown. We're dead, chat. We're absolutely dead. Diamonds. We'll go back to diamonds. The cool part about this is we're digging this hole, right? Oh my God, this cave is huge. We're digging this hole. Oh, my, that's infinite lava. There's no way that's not infinite lava. And it's right under our base. It's we're it's literally under the it's right here. Unless it's only one block deep. It doesn't appear to be that way. No way we're getting lucky and we don't have to send a train through the nether for lava. What makes it infinite? If you have 10,000 source blocks, it's infinite. All right, we, we've hit an impasse. Something has happened. I don't know what has happened. <laughs> Something's happened. Leafless, thank you for the prime. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, we're mining obsidian. That's probably what. Oh. It takes a really long time to get through obsidian. Cool thing is we don't have to stay on the train. We can just hop off. Um, and we could probably look around this area. This is pretty insane. And it's all above lava like this. One hundred percent. Yeah, this is almost yeah, assuredly infinite. Yeah, this has gotta be infinite. Why are trains going? Let's check for some good loot. It doesn't say chunk loaded, right? It doesn't chunk load itself, or does it? It might chunk load itself, honestly. But we're within range, so we should be fine. I should really, like, get more comfortable, because, like, sometimes setting in here, even though you think I'd be comfortable, it gets kind of uncomfortable because I set in odd positions. I don't know what's wrong with me. so dark I cannot see I should put night vision on yeah this is right under our base we'll still have to use a train to get to it but if it's here like, we have infinite lava right at our, like, right at our feet. 
Right at her, like right underneath our base village. Like, what in the world? You guys want a piece of this? Yeah, it mined through some obsidian. I think we can access the chest too while we're on this. Yeah, we can access chests. Kind of crazy. So you could literally just put a pump with a hole down to that spot and just hook it up to the top. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, just up to the top. Just pump from the very top of the world down here. We'll be golden. You could pump up that high. Well, I need to use, I would have to use a train to get to this location, right? And then send the lava back. Um, I could use pipes, technically. I could use create pipes, but that would be a really long ways. Remember though, don't dig down. <laughs> Digging down's not that dangerous, chat. Come on. Not that bad. Hey, look, there's diamond. Oh my god. I don't know where this is storing the blocks. It's got to be up front, I think. Can I suggest a build? Go for it. Only three diamonds out of that one. Now there's only 999 source blocks. Yeah, watch there be only 999 source blocks. This is what we actually need. Look at that. Only 23 though from that. This is insane looking. That's crazy. I'm happy. This is good. This is good news. Like, I'm insanely happy that there's a lava pit right under here. I almost wonder if there's a lava pit under, like, directly underneath here, because that's insane. Can you schematic cannon MBT upload this somewhere to Discord later? You're talking about the build for this thing? Uh, potentially I can make a schematic. It's just sending the schematic cannon, right? Schematic file.
We can do that later. I just have to put it on the put it on the cart, right? The only thing that would make this good is if there was a torch placer. I don't know how you would do a torch placer though. Because you wouldn't want to place torches. Like you'd only want to place torches like this, like every so many. A pokey arm on the side. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to place like a tor a torch on every corner. You'd want to you'd want it to divide up the torches. Oh my god. More diamonds, please. I mean, this would probably also work in the nether. Deep Slate Jade. Don't we get Jade from the Samurai guys? This is also getting a stun of Dark Stone. A deployer would do it every block, yeah. I have a chunk loader on it. Let it go forever. Yeah, there is a chunk loader in here. Create chunk loading. Be nice if you set. You know what? You could probably schematic. <clears throat> you could, you could, I bet. You could just, you would just set a schematic, I bet. Right? Yeah, you would just schematic, I bet. So, the way that we are doing our saplings is you can actually use a schematic file uh, and place the schematic in as a filter. And it will only place wherever it has assigned on the schematic, I bet. Unless you have a schematic that goes infinitely. Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you can put schematics. Yeah, we placed our saplings in a very specific location on a rotating thing uh, using the schematic. Apparently, they were like, you can use schematics for this. I was like, I didn't know that. Um, I think I've seen like something placing slime blocks and then torches being placed and then the slime blocks being mined up. Oh my God, these are another infinite lava pool. I wonder if going the other way, if we would, if there's one under our base, I should mine under our base and see. These seem very common at this point. There's Amethyst. There's a ton of iron. Um, okay. Oh my god. Dude, Terralith is insane. <laughs> what in the world? Evaporate. Oh my Turn God, on evaporate. the sprinkler. This. Evaporate. 
making it rain 1000 bits. Coming back around. Test this, 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 this. Oh, not the sussy bits. Thank you for the, thank you for the thousand bits. Welcome back. Popping in. I had to add some sus bits. Oh, God. Well, sad to see you leave again. How dare you? I can't, can't do that. Oh, my God. Thank you for that. He'll be back. You have to adult. I, I understand that. I hate, I hate adult. Adulting? Oh, God. Why? No. This is so difficult. Why? Why is that? Why did I do this to myself? Who ne who needs that? Oh, well, this isn't good. Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta get the heads. At least we have all this lava, right? My god, that's so much lava. Our drill should come through this whole area. Virtual eye. <laughs> imagine the sub gift bomb over the lava pool. I don't have to imagine it. Cause, eh, oh God. Uh, just most of them will end up in the lava. Just to be a whole mess. It'll be a whole thing, right? Oh my god. Why? What? Just got me like I'm going to do it. Or start chipping eyes like I'm going to I'm going to drop some bits on here. Oh shit, got me. Oh my god. Give me some diamond blocks or something. They give me TNT. I could get lost in this. Like, this is nuts. Oh wait, I'm already kind of lost. I think this way. I think my train's over here. Well, I'm already cold though. The lava could warm you up. <laughs> oh jeez. Spectre Grim just gave out oh, five subs. God. Well, it worked here. No! They're all dying! No! Thank you, Grim! Grim, thank you so much, my little five your subs. Appreciate that. Is our train still going? It's still going. It's still a trucking along. This is insane. I love it. Hey, why did it take so long for me to build something like this? Like, this thing is amazing. What is it running off of? Pure willpower. <laughs> oh no, Swell Chris. Welcome in as well. It's running off of pure willpower right now. Off of nothing. Magic in the imagination, yeah. The power of the brain. You'll be a bridge. Yeah, no, it's it's literally running off of nothing. Running off of absolutely nothing. I don't know why I brought torches. I, I have infinite torches with ours. I keep forgetting that. This is ridiculous. 
So what it's running off of is I got redstone being placed on that side. It's placing blocks, placing the rails. The powered rails, it's just running off of a rail. Look at this. Absolute absurdity. I almost wonder, I, there's got, I bet there's lava directly under our base. If there is, that would be insane. If there's actually an infinite water lava source underneath that main area, I'm going to lose it. Because then we could farm infinite obsidian. And then we have no need for running trains into the nether. Is it ore veins a vanilla thing now? What do you mean ore veins? Ooh, one of those like lava spires would, would do us in, wouldn't it? There's a custom obsidian loop in this pack. Oh, so you can't farm it with create? Cause there's an easy way to pump obsidian. There's an easy way to make it in this. Well, with create anyways. How do you obsidian loop? Magma blocks? We're talking like two pumps is all we need to get obsidian. Powdered obsidian? <clears throat> oh, they added a, oh, they added a milling recipe where it's just one obsidian. This breaks the laws of thermodynamics. Interesting. But yeah, that's not, that's actually not that hard to make. One obsidian gives you literally infinite. Well, it's not infinite though, right? Um, this gets smelted. And then we do the same thing that we set up on another setup where we just simply go there. Crushing wheels, however, give you a 75% chance to get obsidian. So I guess, yeah, you would do crushing wheels, right? Yeah. But, but if you can farm, if you can pump infinite obsidian, you can just get infinite obsidian. Does it break thermodynamics? You're adding energy. It breaks. Oh yeah. The conservation of mass. Is that not one of the, the laws? Not thermodynamics. What are, what are those laws called? <clears throat> this is nuts. Okay. We're about to hit that. I think we're going to pass like perfectly by that lava stream. We should be good. Sick. Most of this <laughs> pack is breaking a lot of laws. This is perfect time for some coffee, huh? Wait, is this? No. Crag not. Randomly just gave sweating. out one subs. Oh my god, crack. 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 Bro. Crack. Thank you for that gift sub, my dude. <laughs> You're not allowed on this bus. Not the struggle bus here. This is for engineers only. There's only one seat in this town. Okay, we got our coffee. We're good. Cheers. Probably really hot.
Ooh, that's hot. Whew. Warm you right up. I'm gonna burn my tongue. I wonder if you put a second seat on there, if they would sit. Probably. In theory, you could essentially encase a whole contraption in a bubble of glass with a door on the back to protect yourself from water and lava. Would these drills in front cover the whole shape? N no, you would pass through the lava. Nope. Yeah, they're fake blocks. So like technically, if I didn't have those drills clearing out the top part of the, the structure here, um, what would end up happening is this section would pass through the blocks cleanly. Only when the contraption then is placed and like un uh, under contraptionified, like we get, if we gave it a redstone signal, it would then break and displace those blocks, which gets used a lot as a feature, essentially. Oh yeah, we're, we're breaking those imaginary blocks. Hey, there's the arcane dark stone. Yeah, this tunnel bore will just keep going until I pick it up. Imaginary blocks. I mean, they are they are technically real. We're passing under a mountain biome. Yeah, the random ore has a chance of being broken by this. Or gets broken by this. You like to think of it as it's out of phase. Hey, this is getting me all the dark stone that I want because I actually want to build with dark stone. <clears throat> and then uh, deep slate is kind of a nice material for building um, building roads, like like mixtures and roads and stuff and looking like metal. It kind of looks like a, uh, like iron, like iron rods. The blocks in the fourth dimension. The block can exist in two places at once. Right? Is that, that's a good way to look at it, right? It exists. It can exist in like uh, the same place as another block. That's phasing, right? Phasing. It, it phases through blocks. Can you use upgraded drawers instead of chests? I don't think the drawers work. However, sophisticated storage would probably work. That would be ridiculous amounts of storage. couldn't get sophisticated to work with the contraptions yeah so sophisticated and um yeah that may not work but you can you could add an insane number 
of storages to this. And so long as they're glued, they're chests. So you could put like a massive um, inventory system on the back of this. Like this is a ton of storage. Like this is more storage than I had in my entire base underground. All here. And I can just pick it up. Just take it with me. Creates absurdly powerful. It's it's absurdly powerful in cases like if you just get creative with it, right? If you're just creative with how you're doing the create stuff. I mean, it is in the name, right? It's like the yeah, world's largest shulker box. Shulker box, yeah. If you just get creative with it, it'd be good. I wonder what it's mining that's taken so long. Oh, I bet it's the, oh, it's those blocks, the silverfish blocks, right? Cause silverfish blocks take a bit longer to mine. No ender chest. What do you mean? No ender like, oh, is there no ender chest in this? No, we don't have like the ender chest mod. Hey, here's our, here's our silverfish farm uh, chat. <laughs> no, we're going to be building a better silverfish farm here later on today. Hopefully. That's one of the goals of today is to get a silverfish farm up and running. I just still don't know if I want to go the route where like is that for XP? Yeah, we'll have it for XP. Um I still don't know how I want to do it though. We're gonna to have to have an on-site cobble gin. And we could maybe use that design that I've seen everybody using. I mean we have a similar design to it. But their design is way better. Or we can just use a drill-based cobble farm. Let's take a lot more time. Or we have the other cobble farm that was uh, set up by... Um, what's his name? Uh, Tango Tech. That he used in Create Above and Beyond. Look at that diamond vein. Look at that bad boy. Sixteen diamonds. What modded Minecraft should I do? I got bored of all the mods nine very quick. And I feel, I feel like over automated and ruined the game with magical crops in every way. I, I go for the end game. Like, cause there's a lot of stuff that the crops can't do for you. There's a lot of stuff the crops can't do for you. <clears throat> you may be underthinking how much you actually need to get the all the mod star in that pack. I think you're underestimating how much you actually need. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use the quarry more than the mystical crops. The, the mystical crops are great for allowing you to get enough resources to build all the machines that you're going to need for everything. But you're still going to need a lot of resources. And finding out cool ways to farm those is, is really fun. So maybe you'll enjoy that. Can't beat these things without automation. Yeah, there's honestly... The mystical, cra mystical crops are just like a, 
a tiny little part. Like, you still need to set up mechanism. But here's here's what I say, though, to a lot of people. Um, even myself, I find myself in this situation. Personally, I love the early game of mod packs. I really love it because you get to kind of pick and choose what you want to do early game. And once you get to a later part of most mod packs, you get stuck in that rhythm of here's exactly what I have to do early game. It's a different story, right? So if, if you just enjoy just getting into the start of mod packs and that's what you enjoy, then do it. Like if, as soon as you start to not have fun, stop playing it and play something else. Start something else, you know? There's no need for you to, to mindlessly grind through something that you're not having fun with. So, complete respect for, for stopping and going and play something else. Yeah. Iron Phantom, how am I doing? I'm doing fantastic. A lot of people enjoy the start of mod packs. Yeah, I would say, I would say the majority of people, yeah, definitely enjoy there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. There, there's, it's that way for a lot of games, you know? Even though it, Minecraft is the one that I really enjoy the start of the, the games, start of the packs, and the end game can get a little bit grueling, but for most other games, I hate the beginning of the game, and then I love the mid and end games. It's weird. You have crippling ADHD, so you start a lot of mod packs and never finish them. Yeah. Here's a here's a tip for you though that might help you. If if you set goals, set small goals. I love to say this. For example, our clipboard, right? This keeps my mind on track. And even if I diverge from this, I usually have a lot of fun when I do diverge from what's on the clipboard, but at least I after I'm done with what I'm doing, like for example, right now, I can go back and I can go, "Okay, I need to get back on tasks to the XP farm." And I know what my next goal is. So yes. <laughs> goals are good. Goals are your friend and set ones that are achievable. I will say this over and I'll preach this. Set achievable, achievable goals. Realistically achievable goals and you will feel really good when you achieve them. And that will keep you motivated to continue playing what you're playing. Once you stop doing that, then it becomes grindy and grueling. And that's not fun. How far have we gone now? Oh my god. Alright, I think we should stop this and let's let's uh, turn it towards our base. Look how crazy it is that I can just pick it up. All of those blocks I just picked up, chat. Alright, and then we can... Um, we can start to clean up on the way back anything that we've seen in the walls. We're, oh, we got a name tag from a uh, chest, didn't we? We need these to put back into our machine. Yeah, we'll clean up the walls here. I don't know what we're ever going to use silver for, but we're grabbing it. You like to over prep for the end of packs too. Yeah. It, so it feels like you're over prepping, but yeah. You rotate 90 degrees. Yeah. That's what I want to do is. I want it to I want to go under our base and see what's under there. I would be ecstatic if we have lava directly under the base. That would be so nice. I mean, the fact that this is like, I'm, I'm getting a little carried away because like at least having this over here is like reachable and like easy to set up a train for. 
right to, to get lava infinitely to our base. But still, this is amazing. It'd be amazing if it was directly underneath. Because then we wouldn't need to have to we wouldn't have to worry about the train like that. Hey Justin, what do you think of Infernal Origins, the mod pack made by the I don't have any idea. I don't know. I've not played it, don't know anything about it. <laughs> so don't have any words on it, really. Never heard of it, so I don't know. Believe it or not, I don't actually know about every mod pack in existence. <laughs> Unless it has ended up on the YouTube channel in some way or here on Twitch, I probably don't know about it. You don't know every... Yeah, I don't know about every mod pack in existence. But I'm sure, I'm sure it's great and I'm sure... A lot of effort went into them. Mod packs are not easy to make. You play a lot of FTB packs? Yeah, FTB packs are great. Alright, so there's that. So here's where we started. Um, So we would need to, like, mine a tunnel this way. Let's go ahead. And here's the cool thing that we can do, um, which is kind of bananas as well. I'm going to set this like this. All right. Is we'll place this down and I'll place my track. And then I will place this facing this way because the arrow matters. We'll set this to lock rotation. And then whenever I place this car contraption in, It displaces the blocks automatically. Um, yep. Okay, and then I do need this so I can get underneath here. Can I get a uh, trip me up, please? Out of juice, chief. Oh, no. Out of juice. We need a trap door. Oh, thank you. Somebody got it. Trace, thank you. Is it going to work? Oh. Come on, man. Not working for me. Darn. I really need to get some trapdoors in here. I have no wood, do I? Mm. The Lytra? Oh yeah, we could potentially glide. That is true. Oh God. Uh oh. <laughs> I got myself stuck. Oh, maybe this will work. Okay. Oh, it kind of worked. I need a trap door. Yeah, this kind of sucks to start. There it goes. Oh, so we just go under and jump. That worked. So I need this to go till we hit about here. 
And then I will turn this thing around and then we'll make a tunnel that goes this way. Woo! You think it was the light source? Really? Don't make me turn this thing around. Uh, I gotta, I gotta tell my kids that kind of stuff all the time. No, for me, it's like, don't make me pull this car over, not around, because I ain't punishing myself. It's like, don't make me, don't make me pull this car over. I'd only had to do that one time, one time. It was a long trip, long, grueling trip. Yep. She did not find that fun when she got a whooping on the side of the road. But it only happened once. That's the good that's the good thing about being a parent, I guess. Is you get to teach them a lesson, I guess. Life lessons. She learned that day that dad means business. Just buy McDonald's for yourself and make your kids watch you eat it? God, that's that sounds horrible. <laughs> that was worse than pulling over and getting a whooping. They would lose their mind. And then I would also be sick to my stomach from eating McDonald's. <laughs> oh, God. You'd be punishing us in two ways. Yeah, but why punish yourself with McDonald's? Oh, God. Look at what the tunnel looks like upside down, chat. That is so trippy. <laughs> All right, have we made it there? Oh, nope, we're almost there. Just show us moving. Look at, look, we're moving. We're moving, chat. <laughs> it's only a treat. You have to make good at once, yeah. Don't forget the cart constructor thing. Yeah, let's bring that with us. Watch us not be super lucky in the fact that we don't have that. It kind of, this is kind of interesting looking though. It looks like a rail, like a, like a monorail system or an actual train system where there would be like a train station where the under part is actually cleared out where the train resides. Looks like a third rail. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's riding on a rail. Like a monorail. There's a ruby. You had to disappear for a few minutes. Did you miss anything? <laughs> Tragedy. You missed... Uh... You missed the success of our train. Doing pretty good. We found lava. Infinite lava. But now we're seeing if we are super lucky to have infinite lava under our base. That I'm a little less... A little more skeptical about. I am not, I'm not as high in hopes for that. You missed a whooping as well. Oh God. The monorail episode of the Simpsons. The Simpsons is incredible. Monorail episode. I've never seen it. God, there's so many episodes of the Simpsons. I don't know how I would be able to watch them all at this point. I'd have to spend a year or more. Isn't there like 60 seasons? One of the early ones? Is it, yeah, isn't there like 60 seasons? Or more? Probably more than 60. Thirty something? Are we sure it's thirty? It's not sixty? God, 
I thought it was be 60. Yeah, but there, there's a lot of episodes per season, right? You know, you could have a spell turret on this that's shooting a source light. I wonder how much it would need to do the spell turret. turret. And if, if the delay ones would work, the timer ones. Can it accept source? Yeah, you'd put a source jar on the contraption. And I think there's a, um, let's see, it's under R's. Creatio, right? Uh, where is that? It would be wherever the Starbuncle wheels are at. Rio. Oh, maybe not? I don't know. Did the Google News thing ever load up? There it goes. Let's see. Anything good in the, like, well, I don't want news news. I want, like, I want interesting articles right now. Whatever the front page is, here we'd be able to look it look it up, right? You go to Google and then home. Let's see. Minecraft Legends goes into maintenance mode nine months after release. That's that's really important news right now. <clears throat> how how many of you guys played Minecraft Legends, by the way? Not I. I I played it for a little bit, and I will say that at first it's kind of charming, and then it divulged into just like monotony. I don't really know how to describe it too well. Beat it in like two days. Yeah, the campaign is very like repetitive, and also kind of confusing too as well. And you'll start doing one thing and you're like, oh, shoot. Something's happening over here. Didn't have good replayability. Yeah, I, and I had no idea how the multiplayer... I didn't play any of the multiplayer stuff, but I have no idea how the multiplayer stuff would even go. But if it was the same thing like I was already doing, I didn't really want a part of it. This gets us everything but copper. It's a good way to get building materials, though. All right, let's line this bad boy up right about here. rotation also let's hope we don't run into one of our buildings down here probably not because it's right here right yeah we won't hit it all right and then put our blocks and rails back in And I need to just boop it.
All right, chat. You think we're going to find it? You think we're going to have lava under the base? We need to get a um a pole up here. Did I do a poll? I did a poll, didn't I? I should have done a prediction. Can I cancel? I need to do a prediction. Yep, we're gambling. We're we're doing a gamba. All right, gamba's up. Gamba's up. Some think no. There's a gamba up right now though. So get your points in. Could be a way that you get more points. You're all in. You're all in on no? What? This will be our way of finding out. <laughs> all in on yes? Oh god. Hope it pays off. <laughs> There's a lot of points floating around right now. Fifteen hundred on no because Minecraft is never that convenient. That's true, butter. That's true, butterball. That is true. It's usually never convenient, but you never know. Infinite lava. Will there be? I love how I did L, -L V A V. I, I, level, level. We're gonna have some love, some, some love under the base. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Prediction is done, but we're only we're only partially the way there. Maybe we will find infinite law love. 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 Love some good love. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it taking so long to mine? Unless it was mining like a random ore. There's a good chance it was mining that random ore. Onyx? Onyx samurai chess piece. Honestly, I think that samurai stuff is just super cosmetic. It's just something you can wear as a cosmetic piece. It looks nice, yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
made a mistake. Apparently, Gravel's going for a ride. Oh my god. That's one way to do it, I guess. Well, we're partially through here. We might have to do a split, right? Where we go this way as well and this way. Um, here in the middle. Oh, hey, look. Where'd they go? They just disappeared, right? Oh, that's right. Is does, is there a thing in Minecraft where, like, if a levitating block is stays uh, levi levitating for a certain amount of time, it'll just disappear? I don't... I think that's a, the thing. Or it'll just... It'll pop. It'll pop off in, into an item form, right? Not disappear. Item form. Yeah. Yeah, but there's... Yeah. That's why, like, the gravel works. Interestingly. Okay. More coffee. This has honestly been, been kind of productive. Super productive. If anything, we're generating a ton of building resources. Now the the real fun the real the real boss of this is uh getting all these blocks out of here. That's uh that's a different situation, isn't it? Uh what color are the R's lights like that? As I like how they're barely visible. Uh I have all of the colors turned all the way off. Like just turn all the sliders all the way off. Like, all the way down to the lowest. It's sort of... I think it would be technically black. Technically. I'm like, stripping all the color out of it. Essentially. Hey, if anything out of this, we're getting diamonds. Um, there's in-game variants of samurai armor, um, so they're usable, but no need to make one of the original. Yeah, I noticed it looks like the, like the gear, like, would have had some use because there's like a, there's uh there's like an arch, there's like a mage, there's like a mage gear, there's also the Draco version. The Draco version is probably one of the hardest to probably get. It looks the coolest. And then there's a repair kit for the like, because there's also a create version, which is the create samurai set. So far, it's not looking good. It doesn't look like there's any lava this way. But let's see, where are we at? Okay, so we're definitely done. But we're not done yet. We can't call it here. We have to go left and right. Because there could be... There could be a lava pool... To the left and right of our... Middle of our base. Alright. There could. Like, there could be a lava lake, like, right next to us. And we just don't know it yet. All right, we'll place our rail.
Break that. Lever. Oh, yeah, the rotation lock. Um... I don't think it's is it that big of a deal there's a cave system Oh yeah, that's right. Don't, don't have the blocks, it's not gonna work really. the carry mod carry on mod work with uh with a spawner N not in this pack there isn't carry on in here is there is carry on in this pack i didn't even try it oh we had a bunch of chests you don't think so okay yeah, I can't, I can't carry on this. Ooh, I don't think this is infinite though. No, it's definitely not infinite, but it does. It, we have been down here. We have been down here. Nice. But in general, no, it has to be infinite. Some lava is a good sign, yeah. I mean, even if it's like on the edge out here, that's still perfect. There's still a chance, and it could be on the other side, too, so... <clears throat> We're gonna have tons of brass after this. It's gonna be so nice. Look at all this. Zinc. Copper's super easy for us to get. It's the zinc that, like, poses a problem for some reason. So in theory, you could just flood um, a cave to be infinite with those. Yes. So what I have done in the past, I did it in Vault Hunters. I dug out a, uh, a 10,000 block interior space. And then I used the pump from Create to fill it with 10,000 source blocks of lava. And I used this, the fluid cell, to do it. Um, so an upgraded fluid cell works great. I took maybe eight trips into the nether and I had my own infinite pool. So yes, it is 100% doable. And probably very necessary wherever we plan on doing lava work. So does the side area count as lava? Or is it no because it's still... No, no, no. It, no. That doesn't count. It has to be like we were talking about when I put the prediction up. Infinite lava. Or what appears to be an infinite lava source. 
like like the area we just found that's not too far away that's like right here i think right here is where the infinite lava resides for a place that we definitely know exists yeah lvav yeah equals infinite lava as trace is pointing out yeah that's the symbol for infinite lava universal galactic code for infinite lava you know that chat you guys need to get on my level then Psh, can't believe you didn't know that yeah it's simple <laughs> no god All right, let's try the other side. Are we going to enter a massive cave on this side? Hopes are high. Why can't I click and hold to edit? What's Maybe there'll be one over here. Who knows? Hopes are high enough. I mean, I don't have any stakes in this. So I don't, I, I have no stakes in this chat. I get nothing out of this. This is all about you guys. And I knew just as much as you did when I put the prediction up. I didn't know if there was going to be lava here. The chances are just like as much as anybody's chances. This is definitely better odds. It was 50-50. This is way better odds than you go into a casino and playing blackjack. Right? I have stakes. That would be an infinite lava pool. I mean, I would hope there's a hope, but we do have another solution to the problem, so. We still... I'm happy enough, though, that we don't have to, like, do it through the nether because that can become kind of weird because we have to, like, build in the nether and building in the nether sucks so much because of gas so not needing to build in the nether is kind of nice you showed us two infinite pools and hyped us up <laughs> i was duped <laughs> i mean quirk i think adds those infinite pools those big big massive pools is there a structure compass Uh uh. I was gonna think. I was thinking maybe there was like a lava pool. Doesn't the salamander eye auto reflect gas balls? It might, but what if the, what happens to the ones that that hit the ground? Like, I don't care if they hit me. It just sucks when you're building and then, like, you drop into lava because they hit the thing. Ooh. There's a little glimpse of lava, but I don't think it's infinite. Don't think it's infinite. Doesn't appear. Mm. 
there appears to be fairly normal. Can't believe I shot that bat. So far, not looking good. I'm not sure. Did you search for villagers of the Vein Mine Enchant book? Um, vill so we rolled villagers for like ever. And I already went in with the assumption that villagers didn't give us that enchant. Uh, from what I had heard Captain Sparkle say. Um, and so when I had listened to a little bit of a VOD that somebody linked to me and so I went in with this, but we rolled, we rolled villagers just for the enchants that I did want for hours and I never once seen it. So I think the only way you can get it is from enchanting your tools. So the best bet is probably to just enchant, enchant, enchant until you get a pick that has it on it um, and then use your villagers to put the other enchants on it, so. But you do get gifted this vein mine like from the start. You can also find tools with vein mine on them in the dungeons. I did find a pickaxe with vein mine in the dungeons. I think it was, uh, was an iron pick. Um, and I don't think there's a way to strip the enchants off of these things. It's unfortunate. Give me a little bit snowed a little bit. That was weird. Like 50s out. But yeah, not even on this line. I wonder if there's one on this line, though. Hmm. Because if so, then we could pump from a train that's pre-existing, chat. We could do that. Not sure you did it. Yeah. It's infinite. You have dripstone. Oh, yeah, true. We could farm lava with dripstone. Look at me being goofball. You know, the whole reason for this right here, though, is to mine. So I know we're, we're finding all these extra things on top of it, but the true intention of this was to just mine so we have enough resources for some of our next projects. Right? So... At the end of the day, this has been a successful trip, regardless of what the prediction was. So. It has been quite successful. All right, we can go ahead and stop this. Should have gotten the la Ulva. Is the V silent? The Lev? <laughs> Should have gotten the Lava Ore then, yeah. Alright, let's see. Thank you, by the way, for the follows. Like, I can't believe we're at 90, almost 91,000 followers over here on Twitch. It's insane.
I mean, if there's something along this line, we could also potentially, like I said, use this train for it, which would be kind of nice. It's negative 60 degrees Celsius. Dude, there, the storm front that's coming in, have you guys seen this in the United States that's coming in um, this weekend? I feel so bad for those that are up north, like the northwestern part of the United States. Because negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Isn't it like after negative 30, like your car, your cars are, are, you should not be driving your car in that temperature. Like, because like windshield wiper fluid, right? It freezes at like negative 32. So definitely don't drive. And, like, make sure your cars... Uh, I don't even know how you would protect your cars. At that temperature. Like, negative 60 is insane. Like, if you don't have a garage. Yeah, so... The predicted... The predicted uh, temperatures... Are... Crazy. Can crack the engine block? Yeah, if it gets too cold. Yeah. We have block heaters. Make the car go from... <laughs> I did see those 22 degrees. I mean, that, it does say with the wind chill, so wind chill can get, it can get down to negative 60. Like, thankfully where I live, we're only going to see like negative 16, potentially. And that's pretty normal. Like I said, like it usually gets down to negative 15 or so, negative 20. But man, getting down that freaking cold, negative 60. That's pretty freaking cold, chat. <gasps> There's lava. Not infinite though. All right, I got to end that prediction. Dang it. Thank you to the believers though. But. We'll choose that outcome. It was a resounding no. Dang. Somebody's like, see if I ever vote again. All gamble. Dang, we got so many diamonds now. I'm so happy. We we don't have like a renewable diamond resource, right? Is there a renewable way to get diamonds? <clears throat> There is. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll get them with coal. It's in the quest book. Yeah, but that's pneumatic. That's like after the next chapter we're getting into. So we'll get there eventually. I'm not like too concerned. This will last us though. For a little bit. That and infinite netherite. Um, is it is it from like scrap? No, probably comes from its own thing. Oh, we just crossed our line. Hey, that looks familiar. Wow. Okay, so this is right. Okay. Hey, 
a uh, a turret reactor. God, I don't even want to think about that. Sounds complicated. It's a great way to get herself some lapis too. So, do contraptions emit light, by the way? If you, if I, like, I had a portable light source on this, would it emit light? You saw Dark Fan and Captain Q set theirs up? Okay. With shaders, maybe? Hmm. Put headlights on my minecart, yeah. Like a mining lamp. Put a lantern on this bad boy. But yeah, this has been... This has been a really neat thing to actually like follow behind and farm, like been bad at all oh Ooh, what do we have here what is this uh, it opens up uh no nope, it just opens up it's definitely getting colder outside because i feel the temperature creeping in <laughs> danger I'm in danger uh a glow shroom ring was that what that gave me four of them why did it give me four Oh, it gave the gin. Wait, what is this? Fire charge passive generator. <laughs> what? The particle emitter? What? They're like, ah, I just can't be bothered for making these textures. I just can't be bothered. We're going to put, we're just going to call it gin. God, this is so disorienting. <laughs> Ooh, a new way to spin points. Yep, yep, yep. That's so disorienting. Soft air is so awesome too for water blocking. I gotta look more into that uh, Dave's building. Ah, there's an infinite lapis production. Right? Yeah, that produces infinite lapis. And it's through the blue corundrum. <clears throat> well, they really went hard with that mechanic, didn't they? Oh no, another current on Yeah. What you use for infinite glowstone. So we have to do a corundum for glowstone too.
What is it, a mill? Looks like it wants cinder flour, right? Yeah, I've, I've seen this. I've seen this when I initially played the pack. We needed emeralds. I don't even know how you automate emeralds. Well, this thing just keeps trucking along, doesn't it? Ooh, ooh. Is this what I think it is? Is this possible infinite lava along our branch? This might be infinite lava. It may not be. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Not, hey, can I get my points back? No, this is this is not in our base though. That was the thing. It had to be in our base. Sorry, chat. I know it hurts. I know. You'll be okay. What is this doing? Hold on. That's showing us how many slots we got left in this. Wait, we don't have any slots left. Wait, where is that storing? Where is that storing everything we've been putting in there? Where's our carts? Wait, where's our, where's our cart? Has it just been voiding? I think it's just been voiding. Uh oh. Maybe it's autoing into the backpacks. It's not though. The backpacks are empty. Maybe it's bugged out with the backpacks possibly. Let's try this. Let's uh let's put everything in there. It's filled up, right? Okay. There's there's nowhere for rotten flesh, right? Rotten flesh. There's 34. Uh what can I delete? Right? There's 38 here. There's nowhere for Darkstone to go. It's voiding. Mm. Pain is real, chat. The pain is real right now. 
with this. Thank God we didn't accidentally click our backpack into it. I'm glad we found that out. Also, hopefully you guys found that out. My God. Or I click something crazy into it. Ridiculous. Oh, there's an artifact for us. What do we not have? Hey, there's everlasting beef. We have infinite food now. Yeah, that's definitely, that's gotta be infinite lava there too. sucks I wonder how much we have lost hopefully we didn't lose all that much we've definitely lost a lot lava looks imp infinite yeah like it might be Time to slash give? No, this, all this stuff feels like it's been relatively like cheap to get, easy to get my hands on. It feel fair. I don't think we, I don't think we cleared anything that was like expensive. Other than losing a few diamonds. but diamonds appear quite effortless to obtain. I mean, just look at that. Um, and we're gonna need, we're gonna need quite a few diamonds actually, like to, to, to booster up or bolster up our, uh, our gear. Nine of these aquamarine. To bolster up our storage and stuff. You have an auto feeder? Yeah, I can I can technically use this. I'm using source berries, which are really, really good. They're definitely really good. But yeah, we could use the everlasting beef once we get it smelted. Somebody told me that you can get everlasting beef from um from killing cows? Is it a, is there a chance to get it from just killing cows? One in one thousand from cows, yeah. Holy smokes! Dang, I mean, it'd take a while to kill that many cows. But I, I did it in high pixels, so I definitely killed over a thousand cows in that. Get a good enough cow farm, I mean. I did no life high pixel for a little while. I did a uh, high pixel sky block slash revival. Oh, yeah, I did sky block. I'm pretty decent at that. I got most of my stuff completed. I have like a uh, 
multi-million dollar Hyperion set that somebody gave me that I have like on a display that's in displayed. Um, that's probably worth more than I should ever have had. Like nobody should ever have gifted me that, but they were like, they're like, I'm not playing this anymore. You can have it. And I was like, what? Like I'll, I'll it'll take forever before I'll ever be able to even use like a set like that. So it's just it's just in my collection. It's just on display. What are we working on today? We're just diggy diggy holing. Diggy diggy holing. <clears throat> yep. We need to we should write a song. We should write a song. I'm mining all day, mining all night. I should ask ChatGPT to write me a sonnet. Let's see. <clears throat> ChatGPT. Can you write can you write me a song? Let's see. Imagine you are a <clears throat> folk songwriter. And you are asked with the job of writing a song about mining with a tunnel for as your day job in Minecraft with the create mod. <clears throat> What did ChatGPT just... I've never seen it do this before. Notifying Guardian Tool. Creative Content. Get Policy. Category String. String. Sorry, but I cannot generate content that involves creating writing about specific activities in Minecraft with mods. As it falls under the Creative Content category... If you have any other non-Minecraft related topics or general themes for folk songs, I'd be happy to help with that. Let me know how I can assist you within the content policies. How is that against the content policy? No way. But, but Minecraft is... What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, let me redo the prompt. In a new... Delete the chat. I'll start a new one. Without Minecraft. Okay. I got it. I just... I replaced Minecraft with block game. So dumb. So dumb. I mean, Microsoft is getting sued over that issue. That's funny. Did I just put these items in that I don't have room for? I don't have room. I need to be careful with using the shulker boxes. It's so interesting. Microsoft owns... Is, isn't Microsoft a stakeholder in ChatGPT? Like, they're, they're literally running... Like, all of their stuff is going to be using OpenAI's stuff. They're like, ah, I can't be Minecraft related. Heck no, you can't do that. All right, I got it to write it, but I replaced it with block game. Let's see if we can mosey up a little jingle here. Do what we can't get it to say. I suck at reading, so this is going to be great.
Why did TNT go off? Is it, are we near one of those biomes? There are biomes, by the way, that TNT can go off in. All right. Here, here it goes. I don't. In a blocky world where shadows fall beneath the earth, we heal, we heed the call. With pickaxes in hand and hearts full of fire, we dig through the soil, reaching higher and higher. Tunnel bore, mighty machine, carving through stone like a dream. In the mines below, where diamonds gleam, we craft a story, a miner's theme. At least it's good at writing poems. That's a pretty good poem. That's the chorus, by the way. Through the caverns deep we venture far, guided by light of a glowing star. Oars of oars and gems in the darkness concealed. With each swing of the pick, our fate is revealed. And just because you changed Minecraft to a block game, yeah. <laughs> Um, for every block we break, a tale unfolds in this block game world where stories are told. We tunnel, wait, the tunnel bore roars, a symphony of steel unveiling the secrets that the mines conceal. God, this is good. <clears throat> Redstone pulses like the heartbeat strong as we journey through the passage long. Creepers hisk and skeletons chatter, but with our trusty gear, nothing can shatter. Pretty good. Pretty good. Cobblestone's pathways winding and winding through the vastness of caves we keep on finding. The rhythm of pickaxes echo in the air, a miner's anthem beyond compare. Just ask it to put it in a Minecraft way. <laughs> <laughs> for every block we break a tale unfolds in this block game this is the pre-chorus where stories are told the tunnel bore roars a symphony of steel unveiling the secrets that the miners conceal in the outro as the sun sets on the pickaxe or uh, you know as the sun sets on the pixeled land we emerge victorious pickaxe in hand in the blocky realm where adventures soar, we sing the ballad of the tunnel bore. So it knows it's Minecraft. Yeah, 100%. Uh, this is ChatGPT 3.5 because I don't have the premium. Which for, I'm sure it would be way more advanced in how it creates things. On ChatGP4. I always like to tell ChatGPT to imagine it's somebody. It almost like it, it prompts it to... To be different. In whatever way you tell it to imagine. Like you can um, tell it to imagine to be a mob boss. And it will, it will do that. Which is pretty cool. Here's something I want to test out. Does this mean that... Okay. We have plenty of room in this. I just... Got me worried that we're going to lose a lot of stuff. How old is this, this server? This is a single player world. And it's for however many days we've been streaming. So I have... How many days? How long have we been playing this? We've got 4.3 days worth of playtime in this world. Like IRL days. And we are on day 397. Tell it to imagine you're a dwarf. What are those? What are those? Uh, they're called. Are they called shanties? What would it be called? What is it? Called when a
I asked it, what is it called when a dwarf is mining and singing a song? What would the song type be? When a dwarf is mining and singing a song, it's often referenced as a working song or a mining chant. Okay, can you remake the song as a working song or and mining Okay, it didn't really change much. <laughs> it didn't really change much at all. The exact same song. A cadence. There's a skelly spawner. Nice that it didn't just break it. Uh-oh. It's a gaggle of skeletons. I love that word, gaggle. I don't know why. Quite hilarious. Okay, we have a tunnel underground all the way out here. A mining shanty. I feel like the word shanty has, like, its own meaning. Related to something at sea, right? A song at sea. Oh, it did change the chorus though. Heave ho, swing that pick, and the earth's embrace our spirits quick. With every strike, a tell we wave, a Minecraft chant, our hearts believe. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Oh, sorry. A tell we weave, a Minecraft chant, our hearts believe. Not wave. <clears throat> it did change it. It changed the chorus. What's the spell on the sword? Take a screenshot. Windows key shift S. You always have my goofy face in here. You don't have to put, you only put one amplify at the end because the sword itself applies the, uh, the last amplify. So, I mean, technically we, we might have infinite lava, um, I don't know if it's bottomless or not. It might be over here. A group of skeletons is apparently called a clutter. A clutter of skeletons. Oh, God. All right, bye. Have a good one, Mike. Have a good one. I wonder if our backpack is going to do the same thing. Imagine us deleting our entire contraption. Holy smokes. Rolled, welcome in. Welcome to the welcome to the channel. I mean, this would probably be infinite. I don't know how deep this goes. That's the only problem with it, me not knowing. Back by popular demand. <laughs> um, Xan, <laughs> I can talk. Um, 
Exanthype. There we go. My brain. After I had to break it down a bit. Hopefully I said it right. Thank you for the bribe for two months. By popular demand, you say. The demand is high. Holy, look at all of these. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, this will let me test, actually. I want something very special. Oh, we got it. We got two of the antique ink. Okay. I got five diamonds from that. What in the world? Okay, we can test it. Let's test this. So we have two slots. I'll put the antique ink in here. Um, let's see. We have one slot available. I'll put that in there. Okay, so with this sorted, if I put the ash in here, okay, it won't let me. So it's only the sophisticated storage in this version that's causing this problem. So the bags are still good. Thank God. The bags are still good. Also, I should be looking out for oh, this guy. Ooh, ooh, we can get him. We can get him, chat. Oh, we can get him. Oh, I wonder if we put vein miner on this if it works. We put this in our offhand. We should be able to kill this thing. Yes, we got one. A heart of diamond, chat. Let's go. We can now make a pick a ring. It's not that useful, but it, it, maybe if we get put vein miner somehow, I, I get, if we can enchant it, maybe. Oh, they remove. Okay, there it is. Yeah, we can put vein mining on it. I wonder if it would work like it works in Vault Hunters. It'd only be useful if vein mining can go on it. Yeah, it's for fun. Builder's tea is so weird. I, does Builder's key tea give you any effect at all? I don't think it does. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that might be infinite too. That's got to be. Eh, maybe not. It's very close to not being infinite. Now, if I remember correctly, tortoises. For example, this copper one for for right now. For uh, example. <clears throat> I want to take one back home for science. For science chat, I promise it's for science. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Why are you, why are, why are you looking at me like that? The fortune effects work on the urns. I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I was actually thinking about that. Like, did we just get lucky with fortune? Don't give me that stare, chat. Okay, so there is a good chance that this may be infinite. I just don't know. I I think just going to the other sources will be fine. Yeah. We need is a couple of blocks deep. We would have to get a hose pulley over here to try that out.
Uh, it should be right here, right? Yeah, here's the infinite lava. One of the infinite lavas. There it is. How many hours do I have in this world? We are at five days worth of gameplay. So like 110 hours. Something like that. Something like that. Well, let's put these in here. Um, can I name this contraption? We probably need our cart assembler. Art assembler, and then rail. If I place this right here and I have it facing off the edge, we should be fine. Yep. Oh, it still broke some blocks in it. Time to unload all of our stuff. Um, does integrated dynamics have wireless storage? Um, so I think they removed it, right? They removed the um, wireless access. Yeah. They did, yeah. They don't want you to have anything like that. No, no fun. No fun, chat. They don't want you to have fun. Why would they want you to have fun? You think way too highly. You, you think they want you to have that? They want you to use the choo-choo and forget something and then need to travel 5,000 blocks back. Honestly, I'm not using choo-choos, though. I'm using portals. So... I will use choo-choos, but only for things that need choo-choos to be used for. Goes and choosing no choo choo. No, I am. We have choo choos already. We have them already set up. Why are we? Why do we keep getting these short doors? What? Oh, there's a. Okay, we must have got the copper as a random item. Okay. Are the omnidirectionals receivers disabled? Um, so I believe... The only things we have are the straight path ones. We have the monodirectional. So it's the only ones we have, and that's like going wirelessly into one direction uh, with a clear path. But no, the mono ones they've removed. You can still make the chorus glass. 
but they removed like everything that uses this and all of the other integrated dynamics tunnels that's available. There's that. We found something though. Uh, we found that shulker boxes can void things. Yeah. In this version. Not good, not good. Okay. No. Uh, how can they? So we found out that if the inventory is filled and in my inventory, I try to right click on something to store it, it will void it instead of storing it or instead of just not like, ignoring it, it would just try to pick it up and try to put it in some random inventory that didn't exist and it just voids it. That's what it was doing. Also, that thing that we just got, that's why I have a, a glow shroom right there. Well, oh, I kept one just in case we encountered one. Um, okay, what was the main thing I wanted to do? We need to get the raw materials now. Let's get those out of here that we just got. Mostly the zinc. Toss that in there. We should get all of our product over here. Could be good. How are we looking? Wow. We already have almost 2,000 of these? Holy moly. 3,000 brass components. I feel like these have stopped for some reason. Probably got something on a conveyor belt blocking, right? These are going here. They're supposed to go in there. will be back in order soon. Oh, the lag? Yeah, there's a little lag here. It's not it's not as it's not as bad as it was. Like it was super disorienting for me the other day. When it drops below 30 FPS, that's when it's really disorienting for me. Like at 22, this feels really bad. But it goes back up. Okay, so that's processing up. Zinc. I want to need copper. It's all the belts, probably. I believe it. that's why we moved our storage here. Me, Cooper. All right, we. I kind of want to make the thing that converts these. These are all blocks of copper. Well, some of them are. I don't know if I know these I should be able to get the copper out of, but these I don't think I can. I can smelt them down. I'll smelt them down back at the base.
Um, you can axe them. Ooh, that's better. So easy. Yeah, so we can loot buildings. So the roof of all those buildings are just tons and tons of copper. That's awesome. I'll take it. All right, so now that we have zinc, we have this, we can make a bunch of brass. Was the whole reason we went out to do this was to make brass. Because we need a lot more brass. We need all of this zinc. I did install this mod, by the way, this is Craft Tweaker. And I'm just hitting tab. It's a client side mod that makes crafting a little bit more convenient. It's in a lot of mod packs. I'm surprised it's not in this one. I don't know what the reasoning was for, for maybe not including it, but. Oh, also, we, we must not have gotten, like, any coal. Hmm. At that mining level is very rare, yeah. We, we'd have to mine up. Good thing we can just take that and put it anywhere to mine. So we can mine at, like, all the different Y levels and it would be no big deal. On Coggers. He's like, yes. You hear him? Maxed out. It would be more effective to technically turn that into planks. I bet the burn time would be much faster with planks. So that should make a ton of copper brass for us. Gotta go, it's 2 a.m. here. Bye, troll. Have a good one. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out. Enjoy your night. Oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna really come in handy. So what should we do? That's something that I want to come up with an idea for, right? The idea is we need XP and we want to automate XP in some way. Um, and I don't want to go the vanilla route of using like an Enderman spawner, which I think would be a lot more difficult with those random mobs spawning. Um, so what could we do? The silverfish is the way to go, apparently, and that'll allow us to make some stuff. But how do we... We'll just need to take... We'll have to figure out what we want to do. I really need to get down pat the cobblestone generator. That's what I need to get, like, down pat and figure out. Really nice cobble gen.
Yeah, that's tons of brass. We're gonna be set for a while. All right. Set for a little while, it is. Eventually, we'll want that automated, I'm sure. We really should get, like... Maybe we should get, like, at our base, like, some very basic, like, things like this going. Like, a place to process simple plates and a place to process brass and, a, you know, things like that. We should definitely move this there. But I don't want to put too much create stuff because I feel like I'm going to... It's going to cause problems. Silverfish is the way. Cobblegen is always a pain until you get plastic machines. Oh, that's right. Do they have the, um... Oh, the thermal has a cobble gin. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. I mean, there's multiple ways you can make cobble gins, but I mean, create being honestly one of the best ways, but having it in single block is great. Okay, now we can go back. I wanted to test something out too and see if it still works. Um, Let's sleep real quick. And I know this is hilarious. It's super funny. I know. Um, I don't know if we have a way to feed other than an arm. Oh no, we have Kirk. Hold on, chat. This could be an absolute viable option. Oh, I don't have shears. Do I have shears? I do have shears. Is there a way to farm this with create? Seagrass? Gotta be a way. Probably requires bone meal. Oh, I'm probably... I'm looking into this too much. I probably shouldn't... I shouldn't even be dabbling with this because I think to get seagrass, right? We would have to farm a ton of it. And we don't have any way to farm seagrass well. Unless the lily pad of fertility somehow spawned seagrass. Our spell turret with grow spell. Yeah, that could work. I know we had some. Did I ever take them? Let's try this out. Oh my god. Okay. And then...
so the idea is we have a turtle here and it eats off the feeding trough, which can go right next to it. And my idea is what I kind of used in Vault Hunters to farm redstone. We could essentially farm all of these mobs. All of these like redstone, lapis. We could farm them from turtles. <clears throat> Put the turtle in, and it should eat, I believe, seagrass. Okay, we gotta we'd have to have a way to better trap it in. Um seems trapdoors don't work. Let's try. Uh any any sort of block should work. Right. Okay, so it can't be that big. Mm. Maybe fence? I bet fence might work. Keep forgetting I can fly. Fence might be just big enough. Okay, he looks trapped. Interesting. Okay. And then with a button. All right, you ready? Oh no, he's, he's getting away, but. We just got five copper from that. And then if he eats the seagrass, I think it's seagrass. Seagrass or kelp? Kelp, that'd be amazing. Also, can Drigme farm off of these guys? No way. It doesn't look like they're in their loot pool. So they should be able to eat this. I'm pretty sure it's seagrass. Maybe we need something to click the seagrass onto it. Like a deployer, right? Is it kelp or seagrass? I should look it up. Work. I may be like divulging off into a solution that's not actually a solution here, but uh, features. Let's go to one eighteen two mobs. Tortoises are new from mobs. Okay, it's so one of these random, random types. Full redstone. They attackers. First pickaxes, or they'll emit a shockwave attack. Also to carry tortoises home and feed it so it grows ores. Right click, more. Feeding tortoises glow berries will sometimes regenerate ore. So glow berries. The tortoises will generate a random ore each time. If feeding, wait, if the feeding trough is able, the tortoise will eat from it. Tortoises do not breed. When, when tortoises generate ore, they enter a eating cooldown for one minute. Tortoises will sink in water. Okay, tortoises move very slowly. 
They can't be leashed using minecart. Wait, they can't be leashed. Using minecarts is recommended. Iron rods. Pushing the torso of the piston will break its ore. So you need glow berries. So this will give you coal, redstone, lapis, iron. Yeah, it can produce. Yeah, it can produce coal, copper, iron, lapis, and redstone. And we could have more than one of them. We would need a feeding trough. That'd be so cool. You know, they eat minerals. No, apparently they eat. They eat glow berries in this version. Glow berries. Glowberry farm. How would you do a glow? Oh my God, it's easy. Sweet berries. Does Starbuncles collect glowberries? Yes. They should. At least the bottom ones. But Starbuncles will definitely collect the other berries, I believe. So it would be super easy to farm with a Starbuncle. Is this a viable solution? Oh, that's a question. Because we can easily farm this. Or should I not go down this route because it's probably not intended? Every minute's kind of slow, but it just gave me five raw ore off of one minute cooldown. Seems like a lot of extra faff for something that you can get much faster through the nodes. Very much not intended. You bet he'll disable it after he learns about it. He's done that before with portals and stuff. Well, by that time, I'm not even going to be playing it, so it doesn't really matter if it gets disabled or not. I always find that... I find sometimes that kind of, like, chaos fun. I don't know. It, it, it kind of ruined... a. Dawncraft for people, which is kind of unfortunate. Dawncraft's a good example because I get comments on it all the time where they're like, I watched your Let's Play and it sucks that I can't do the things you were doing in the Let's Play. And I'm just t using the things that I found that were available to me and I was using them to my best ability. So like, yeah, it is kind of frustrating in that regard. I feel like this is kind of a cool thing and requires a lot of setup, so. I don't know. It is an option. I don't know what a good way to store them would be. Evening. Oh, not the villagers. Nice tortoise. Thank you. We just prodded it. Don't ask. I did, I did have a way of doing this in, uh, I just don't remember what I did. Your turtle, whatever you're doing, license, at least there. 
That seems like it would work pretty good, like this. And they would eat, they'll eat the glowberries out of the feeding trough. We don't have a haunting area yet. I should set one of those up. I don't have soul. I don't have any of that. I don't think I ever went to the nether. You have hanging starbuncles? Yeah, but I think glowberries, they take a while to grow, right? We'd also need a way to like collect them, collect them like a... What would be a way to collect? We could use a spell turret. Spell turret could work. This reminds me of farming sheep, right? This is what this reminds me of, is like the setups you would do for wool farms. Um, there's an absorption hopper that we're about to unlock. Um... Thermal has an absorption hopper. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I, I know it's cool. We may set it up later. I, I'm gonna call it to be, we might set up one just as like a fun thing to show that it's possible. I think that would be cool. I think having like a reliable setup on it though, probably not a good idea. I mean, you can have multiples though, then that, that would really make it amazing. The vacuumulator, yeah. You can have a pulling up, you can have a spell turret pull items too. Like right here, maybe we could do a have an inversion inversion. Okay, uh, let's do a haunting area right here. Where's our storage? Storage, storage, barrel. for quick, quick things that we need to haunt. Uh, we'll do a gearbox. It's probably a vertical gearbox. That way we can just get the power out here. And you always use this power. Oh, that's going to change everything, isn't it? No, that'll get going the right way. There we go. Yeah, that's going the right way. Okay, so this is going to go out. And we'll probably do the same thing where we just send it into like a chest chat for the quick haunting. Um, Let's get a brass... Funnel, item transfer, brass. Say items out, items in. Um, then right here, we'll do the haunting. Yeah. Sass of Legend, welcome in, my dude. 
Good to see you. And is this a vertical gearbox? Yeah, that is a vertical gearbox. We might be able to just use this. And then maybe a chain drive. On the bottom. That's so spinning the right way. That is pulling. Now it's blowing. Okay. At there. We'll need to be one over because we're also going to have, we're going to be transferring the items with an inventory. And I could just send right here, actually. Just use a barrel. Eh, we could use a chest. I'm going to use a barrel. Actually, no. Let's use a chest. That will help a little bit. All right, and then we'll do brass here and here. Can I not? Can I stop that? There we go. All right. There's that. And we still got to get our filter. We still got to get the other parts too. <clears throat> Is it snowing where you're at? Uh, the pass. Pass of Missouri I'm in. It's snowing, sadly. It's sleeted earlier, but it's definitely not snowing here. It It's raining. Unfortunately, I will say unfortunate because I want snow. My wife wants snow. My my wife's uh, teacher, so she wants snow. My kids want snow. I work from home, so I want snow. Like, I'm fine with snow. I am 100% fine with snow. We'll extend that out. And then as soon as we put a soul fire down there, we should be good. Let's go get some soul sand. Michigan's probably got snow. Chicago's probably got snow. Everywhere up north is getting snow. This weekend is going to be snow heaven, man. And I hope that it pushes its way a little further south than it's predicted to go. Because I really want some snow. Just so my kids have something to play with this weekend. Play in. Wisconsin is a blizzard. I know my sister's in Wisconsin. She is in Wisconsin. She's in the uh, southern part of Wisconsin, though. Well, I guess southern. She's she's at the bottom of the Great Lake. That's so cool. The bones.
A Glosquito? A, glo a Glosquito. Glosquito. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, that's so trippy. Oh my god. What are you saying? Those, uh... I'm a Chiefs fan and I find it hilarious that there's a Miami fan for the game to be moved because of the forecast. They don't want to play in the snow? The little football players, they don't want to play in the snow? Want to make little snow angels? Sad. Like little snow angels? How did you change the mana bar color? It's blue in this pack. I I think you can change it in the config. I think they have it changed in the config for... Those yellow stalks over there are useful. Yellow stalk. So these are, these are useful. These are green. The heck was that? Oh, they're turning to gold. Oh, look at that. That's super easy gold. Well, they're green. They're greenish yellow. Like it looks green probably because of the tint of the biome. I don't know. That to me is is like a green yellow color. Now on the mini map, that's bright yellow, but it's still got a green tint to it. <clears throat> Definitely has a green tint to it. Might need some of the ground. Well, I, I'm literally right here in the farm, so that's interesting. What are you doing, dude? I wonder if those guys can be farmed. Or did they remove, like, the Drigme? We can just farm them with the Drigme! Dude, I bet the Drigme is a mate. We can farm soul beads from the Drigme. Don't we need soul beads for something? Just freaking farm them with the drig me. Or do they remove all the functionality of the drig me? Still works. Okay. Weird that some mobs work, some don't. But I want a train seat and they don't even bother you. Can you put a ghast on a train seat? Tube tried that? Who's Tube? Tube. It was a fun episode. Oh boy. Tube and Knuckle. I don't know if I've ever seen them. I'm, I was saddened whenever I realized we can we can't have more than eight 
uh, containers at once. I thought we could totally have more than eight containers. <clears throat> so it was pretty unfortunate when I found that out. Oh my god. I think I need a bigger... Con I need a compacting upgrade on this. Can I make a compacting upgrade real quick? That should work. I don't know. Does this compact like... I've never used this. Compact only... Let's see. Allow... Compact only uncraftable. Compact anything. So it, it probably compacts whenever it's being put in. There it goes. Impact only uncraftable. Impact only uncraftable? Impact anything. There we go. Like, because I don't think I want to compact quartz, so block quartz. So does only uncraftable mean that it will only craft things that can be crafted back? Compact only uncraftable. I'm kind of at a loss on that one. Seems to be working now. Pretty sure I can... Can I uncraft this or is it completely undone now? Uh, I can get molten quartz. <clears throat> That gives us blocks. I'm literally putting it back into block form like a dork. We do have a cutting board, I, I think, somewhere in the floor down here. Oh yeah, it doesn't work with this. Regular quartz. Regular quartz. I just want to make sure that it's not crafting the quartz. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so... I'm going to leave it with craft only.
What? Iron plate. The heck? This got out of hand. Yeah, this is a lot. Okay. Has to be smelted back down. But what I'm wondering is like, does this equal? Did I just lose a bunch of iron? Four iron blocks equals eight of these. Holy crap. That smelts back out. It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> it costs nine iron for each of these. We just lost a bunch of freaking iron. Okay, I'm trying to test this out. I, okay, will it even craft now? Okay, that works. Maybe it's the compact only uncraftable means that it will only craft things that can be crafted back. The way to test is going to be through our quartz. So yes, that's what it needs to be set to. But I think the wording on it is a little bit janky. Is it not? The wording on that does not. The wording on that seems weird. Yeah, we should be good now. Yeah, the phrasing is interesting. But like it's still going to compact, right? Yeah, it's still compact. I'm 100% using this for the final block crafting, though. That's insane. In uh, all the mods. Crazy. Oh my god, it's already 3 o'clock? Already 3 o'clock? I haven't even taken a break to eat lunch. It's been live for four hours. It's already three? I think I started late today, didn't I? My daughter was having a rough time this morning. So I started a little late today. All right, there's our haunting. All right, all of this was to test if our turtle eats. Name tags are not a big issue for me. But it, now we have a haunting area, so this is good for a few things. Um, let's go back. And we need to make some filters. I need to get a, a sheep shearing area set up. Can be haunted. Uh, and then this will be a deny list. Deny. If it can be haunted, don't let it through. Your daughter was having a rough morning too? Kids, I know. Yeah, my youngest, she, um, she's got some allergy issues or like a minor cold. No fever or nothing like that. But... She was not having it this morning. Also, it was, a, it was a lot of thunderstorms last night, like thunder and lightning last night. 
So they were kind of scared throughout the night. You know. Good old dad things, you know. Okay. <clears throat> so we should be able to take these. Put them through now. And now we can haunt things so we can get glow berries and all kinds of stuff. Your daughter was 102. Oh, God. Like, like fevers are important. Fevers are important. I know a lot of people like to just dose the medicine. Like, if he goes up too high, that's when you put it. Get the medicine. All right, tortoise. Apparently, we can feed it. Want to catch your tortoise. There it goes. It also healed it. And it's supposed to eat and regrow. And there's another iron. And it'll be random each time it grows. <clears throat> it'll have a minute cooldown supposedly on eating, but it seems like it's eating. This could easily be automated. I think the thing that would be a pain, right? is figuring out um would be figuring out how to uh I don't know like like how to get the items that it does drop <laughs> why it could be such a cool farm. Yeah, I, I made it on Vault Hunters Season 2 when we had Quark, because I don't think... We had Quark, but I think... Were Turtles disabled and... Hmm. Why? That's how you farm turtles in Quark. That's a feature of Quark. It's, it's built in, chat. Mine is three. Oh, God. Yeah, no, my daughter is five. My youngest is five. God, they're getting older. I don't like it. All right. There's permanent steak. Can use that later on, maybe. But yeah, I... I don't know. The turtles could be a cool thing. We need to work on experience now. 100%. So what I'm going to do is I will be right back. I want to take a short break. Well, not too short. Just long enough for me to get something to snack on real quick, go to the bathroom, all of that fun jazz, and then we're going to come back and hopefully build ourselves an XP farm, because that's one thing that I really want. So, I will be right back. We're going to infest some stone. That's what we're going to be doing. So, I'll see you guys in just a bit. BRB. Enjoy the beer back screen. Anywhere there's ever going to be machines. Okay. Oh, that's right. The player heads on the armor stands. Oh, yeah. We can put we can put anything on the armor stands. Uh, and there's two per armor stand. So enjoy it. Either you're enjoying the pack or you just enjoy my, my suffering. I don't honestly know sometimes. I feel like 
it's yeah it's definitely the suffering all right yeah i i get it i get it i get it all right i get it this is suffering. <laughs> oh no <laughs> he's just laying on my dead body oh no oh no same page and like yeah be nice <clears throat> I lose track all the time. I think I can still no, I can't exit the blocks crash. What spell or enchantments on my sword? Uh, so we have touch, freeze, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify two. It's a powerful sword and it's a powerful combo. Do you have the one mod? I do have the one that checks for not frame lag, but F will switch to toggle on and off our other machine. a repeater it's a few Just more a few more sussies for you <laughs> no, not those not those where did you come from he just popped off the roof. Guys. It has been full set, don't we? And I think this has invisible stats. Like, you don't... <gasps> fell in a hole. You didn't see that? Normie. Some clips are very random, yes. The thing is, those are the most viewed clips. Oh no! So out of context. <laughs> 350 for 10% and they doubled and added an extra 700, making it... They doubled it? Is this it? I called that sand. That was totally gravel. Oh my God, it's violet. Yes, we found it. My brain, man. God. It's about half, half the amount of people that's even in here just chilling. See, th the hype trains must do... S oh my God, so much going on. The hype trains must like promote the yet. stream or something. I notice when they're going on that the viewers increase while the trains are going on. It's weird. <laughs> yep, it has a penis now. Yep, exactly what that is. It's all shaft. Whoops. 
We'll fix it. We'll fix it, chat. We got this. I needed obsidian anyways. While we have backup lava. Oh god, but I've got to figure this out. I got to figure this out, chat. This is now a puzzle. A puzzle solving simulator. Can I use gantries? Evaporate. Drop their oh cat and 1,000 bits exploded Come from 45 it. Bits. Meow. Don't worry. My Meow. prism with 1,000 bits. Meow. Bada. Oh, Bada I need to get them away from my farm. Back over here. Back over here. Here we go. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh my God. There's so many down there. Give me a good artifact. Give me running shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Give me running shoes. <laughs> oh man, I gotta replace my kitten slippers for these though. These will be so good around the base. Not for caving, but for around the base. Oh man, how did people survive that fall? I don't know. Maybe they like land on. I don't know. <laughs> Not oh my God, that's epic. That's epic, bro. Yes, let's go. <laughs> that's so cool. It's a few Just more. Just a few more sussies for you. <laughs> no, not those. Not those. Where did you come from? You just popped off the roof. Guys. It has been full set, don't we? And I think this has invisible stats. Like you don't... <gasps> fell in a hole. You didn't see that? <laughs> yep, it has a penis now. Yeah, exactly what that is. It's all shaft. It's all shaft, chat. I'm back. Welcome back. How's it going? Did you miss me? We're still in a hole, by the way. God, I hope you guys enjoy the cl those clips. So I'm so goofy. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I have an idea. <clears throat> I have an idea, chat. <clears throat> yes, we missed you. <laughs> it's all chat. Okay. So, idea. All right. We're going to take stone. And we're going to do something with it. End of, uh, end of idea. End of idea. Sounds like a good idea, right? I'm excited. That sounds like a great idea. You dying while the train was going downhill was really funny. Yeah, I... I've died several times. I'm stupid on near those trains. Okay, we're gonna need some deployers. Don't know how many I'm gonna need. Five. 
You think we, we should do like a five setup maybe? Yeah, like five and then we'll have crushing wheels that do the crushing. Also the pure joy when you got a running shoe was great. Dude, the running shoes are, that was insane when we got them. That's my, one of my favorites because it gives you step up. Like it gives you this, the horse step up and speed. The speed is great, but the horse step up is really, really great. I got another level. Okay, so five deployers. Let's do five drills. We're gonna need a few more drills. Okay, that should work. I figure we'll encase this in some way. Um, but the main thing is our deployers, our drills, and then our fans. We do need more fans. I don't know how many we're going to need. But the fans are ultimately just going to turn the stone. We also need a few of the campfires too. It is crazy windy outside, by the way. Like, insanely windy. Thankfully, I have my kid's trampoline, like, super secured to the ground. Because that trampoline would go straight from my deck and straight into my shed. 100%. Would not be good. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some building blocks too. Also, where did I put my shulker? Where did I put my shulker box? I, I guess we lost it. Is it still under the mixer? Maybe it deleted itself. Oh God. It shouldn't be under the mixer because we picked it up. Remember it had all of our brass in it? Oh, I placed it here. So I, I would like to have at least those basic things there. So nice to be able to teleport back and forth like this. Okay, so some of our basic materials. So getting this farm set up, we also need a press. I think we... I think we have all of that stuff, though. I think we have it. Okay. Should be ready. Um, I, like I said, I just needed some building blocks. Um... Campfires. Maybe five of those. We're gonna haunt, haunt, haunt. Um, andesite should be able to go into these. We'll have a placer, and then we'll have. A, okay, we're gonna have a bunch of things. Andesite. I need some logs. All right. Off we go. So we are going to set this up, I think, at our redstone hell area. 
It makes sense that it's there because that's where I have my cobblestone set up. So let's go to redstone hell. And um, we will tap into this area over here that's actually producing iron. And so we'll build off a line over here, right? Yeah. Is this maxed out? No. So what we'll do is we'll tap into the excess cobble that this has. Um, and we will send this out. So let's get into here and let's start building out an area. Okay. So the actual production of this shouldn't be too bad to do. And it'd probably be quite quite nice looking, believe it or not. So we'll have the cobble that leads over here and then gets um, haunted. Um, let's see how big of an area we need. We really don't need that big of an area. Just three blocks. So one, two, three. Let's just do it right here. One, two, three. And so one, two, three, one, two, three. This will be perfect. Oh. Sometimes this gets a little wonky. Now, I don't know how far I'm going to extend this. I'm going to just give myself enough room. Like out to here. Also, I don't, I don't know if I have my wand on me. I do. Okay, and so that should allow me to place my machine right out here. Let's get our contraption set up. All right, there's all of our stuff. We're ready to go. This is so good. This is so good. This makes it so easy having uh, access to the toolboxes. All right. Speaking of toolboxes, let's see. Can I just toss everything that can be tossed? Ooh, it all goes in there. That's so nice. So, um, left to right. Oh, it's random. That's right. Okay, so the idea is we funnel off. Let's go ahead and uh, place all of this in our bag. So the idea is we'll funnel this. We need to turn it into stone. Well, it is something we have to do. Um, it needs to be turned into stone first and then haunted. So we're probably going to have to... Um, I have lava on me. We do have enough fans. We could always... Yeah, we should be good to do that. By the way, Eden Frost, thank you so much for the 15 Sup, you months. Hope you're having a good January. You absolute boss. Rust in pieces. Thank you as well for the prime for two months. Good to have you. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Processing fans. So yeah, good old fan um, setup. Where, wherever we place that... We're going to need to uh, change up some things. I think right here, let's do a belt. Get our shafts, our belts lined out. So we'll have a um, a splitter right here that's going to split this off. And then that's going to go to this. Right? Um, and then what I'm probably going to do is I, I think I'm going to buffer with a chest here. No. I, we can do this. We can just go ahead and do this out. So this is going to lead over here. And then right here, it can be smelted. So we'll set up the smelting facility. We're going to have an inventory here. Um, let's do this. We'll do an inventory. Barrel's fine. 
That will be stone. Okay, and then we'll do... Another shaft. Um, and then this will be our haunting area. We need this to be haunted. Okay. So, we will haunt... I just don't know how far I want this to go. We can go this far. Uh, with the haunting, I think what we can do is maybe have a campfire here, campfire here, and then have another fan blowing at the bottom, and that should be more than fast enough to do the setup that we're going to be doing here. I think. Must be more than enough. Yeah. What do you think, chat, so far? Is it just, is it going right over your, your head? If not, you can always add three more. Oh God. That should be good. Oh my god. That's so disorienting. <laughs> Look at the beat. <laughs> I'm just bumping into everything. This is not good. What's this button do? It's awful. Please never push it again. Okay. Let's see if we can do some chain. Uh, let's see. Do this. Chain under movement or whatever we're using to power this setup I'd probably just use it to power all of these fans uh oh you know we found that this is actually kind of useful <laughs> Oh, that's not useful. It is not useful when I'm trying to place things. The bouncing is not good. Okay, there we go. Now to find out if this all blows in the correct orientation. Because that's a thing, right? Is this all going to blow in the right orientation? Okay, that appears to be... Not connected. So that's technically pulling. We don't need that pulling. We need it blowing. That's blowing. That's blowing. And then this needs to be blowing. If both are pulling, it's good, right? Yeah, I think. Um, this should be able to go here. Now, this is going to reverse the direction that is spinning correctly. So we're technically going to need, I think, if my brain is correct, here we'll need two gearboxes to get that spinning in the right direction. Here's the thing. I can't tell. I think that's actually spinning wrong. Is it, is it going to be fine like that? Oh my god, that works. That's a Super Haunter 9000 right there. Now we need to do the same thing with our lava right here. That one's a little bit, that's a little bit rougher. I mean, we could do this. We could have a fan here that's blowing. I think I think right here is fine. 
I think I'm gonna need way more fans than I thought I was gonna need. This is the one mechanic, by the way. This is the one super haunter night doesn't. This is the one mechanic that is so annoying to set up and create. It really is. The fans are super annoying. Everything else, not too bad. The shift rotation is very weird. I think it's just it's my end not remembering how all the rotations work. Little Miss Misses, welcome in, by the way. Galaxy, welcome. I have a bad habit, chat, of not reading people's names and just reading the messages. I should really get in the, a better habit. Okay. Um, movement. Bean drives. Forgive me for that. Been here ages? I didn't even realize. See, I just, it's my fault. My fault, I'm sorry. Hides in the corner. I'm just here listening <laughs> with a glass of wine. Don't mind me. Oh, God. Just chilling with the wine. By the way, does mineral planks burn? I guess we could always test it, right? I don't think I have fire spread turned off. It definitely produced a flame, but that doesn't mean it's burning. It de okay, yep, 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 it is, it is. <laughs> okay, so all mineral within five blocks of this has gotta go. Okay. It would be kind of cool if it was a flame, uh, like a flame resistant lava or like a flame resistant block because of like the mineral being a part of it, unless mineral is considered flammable. I don't, I wouldn't think mineral would be flammable. I don't really know what mineral is. Is it based off a real thing? I don't know. Isn't it tree sap? Okay, then that's, that's kind of flammable, isn't it? Tree sap is flammable. If I remember correctly. You can turn it into a fuel, so I would assume it's... I'd assume it can become flammable.
<clears throat> but you don't think it's a real thing? Okay. Dang, it's crazy windy out. When I feel my shed move, it kind of worries me. Google Mineral Tree? It's only real in integrated dynamics. <laughs> Create makes your brain hurt? Well, I feel like if you just kind of relax, I feel like that's what I always find myself making the mistake of doing is I get ahead of myself and I start to almost panic because I feel like it's too much. But ever since I started relaxing, like I'm doing right now and just kind of going with the flow and just kind of chilling doing it. It's been a lot better. But if I relax and make spaghetti and that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I've come to realize, I've come to realize something about create is it's all the YouTube videos, right? It's all the YouTube videos that make it stressful because you're meant to see the spaghetti and as soon as you start trying to make things compact, it becomes crazy stressful. Create needs a lot of space. And it's definitely all of the, you trying to do things super compact that makes it stressful. Yeah, because as soon as you do start messing with create and you do things compactly, you, it just, it makes it super hard. Way harder than it needs to be. Always give yourself more space than you think you're going to need. Cool part is uh, you can you can always copy your whole setup and move it if you want to. Like if uh, that's what the schematic cannon is good for. You can just break all the stuff and put it in a chest and then it'll move it for you. Also found out you can also duplicate things. So yeah. Dark fan. I feel called out. No, no. Well. I like what you guys did. You got you had an intention to do it that way, though. There's a difference when you're challenging yourself. Dark fan and uh, Captain Q, they like tried to fit everything right in 11 by 11. Like each age was fit into an 11 by 11 cube. I think it was 11 by 11, which is kind of insane to think about. That's still that's like super compact. I don't know how you would have this wouldn't have fit in 11 by 11, but yeah. It was, it was, that was an interesting idea. Yeah. I'm definitely not doing that. I'm taking my time and building huge platforms if need be. And then I'll go back and I can decorate them later. My AC was making a crazy noise. It's, cr it's super windy, dude. Dark fan. How's the weather, my dude? Are you ready for the snow you're actually going to get? And I may not. You suck, by the way. The fact that you're going to possibly get snow. Dang it. I will not be, most likely. Wait, you have snow? You should have snow coming. Yeah. Being up north? It's super cold. You're also going to be getting some nasty temperatures, like negative 20. Negative 20 degree wind chills this weekend. Yeah, it won't get down that cold for me. I'm I'm wanting the snow. All right, I need I need uh some trap doors. That's one thing I didn't bring with me. I'll just use blocks for now, I guess. This works, right? Dark fan, you would know. 
This doesn't need to be up one, right? This works. Okay. That, that should work. Okay. All right. This is kind of a fun project, I think. This is like super fun. All right, that's going to lead here for now. Dang. Crazy windy. It's causing the fan on my air conditioning unit to spin. It's that windy out. Dang. My dogs are losing their crap out there too. Okay. This is going to get haunted. And then that... The haunted material we can block... Um, but it needs to be transferred along a belt. Uh, and up. So, along this belt. Alright, I want to I wanna sort of lay out the actual belt that's going to go on over here. Let me just kind of get this going, however long this is going to be. Um... So in my head, the way I'm imagining it is that the crushing wheels are going to drop the uh, experience right on top of here. So I need crushing wheels. Um, to be sort of lined facing upwards. I think I have, where's the crushing wheels? Burning RPM. In here. Why, do, why am I kidding? <laughs> Quest complete crushing wheels? Wait, what? Okay, so let's just say the crushing wheels are going to go here. What I'm thinking is they need to go up, right? Um, They're going to go like that. And the resulting items are going to fall on the ground. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. And they're going to drop the XP. Oh my god. They're going to drop the XP onto the belt, and then that's going to get processed down the road. Above this, oh boy. This is where we need some hands and drills. And I'm assuming that when they're broken, it's just going to drop directly down. Um... So, up here, we'll have the drills that will be on this block. So we need, we need the line of drills to be here. And deployers need to place the block right here. So they need a block space between them. And then right here. They should be safe to place a funnel on top of the wheels. They should be. Wait, wait. So am I not crushing the entity? I'm confused here. Am I just crushing the stone? I'm crushing the entity. 
Yeah, so I need to get the entity to spawn, and they the entity can't go through a funnel, right? No. Um, drills here. Back one. I think it's a feedback loop, right? No. No, we are... No, no, no. Um, okay. So... Drills. Drills are going to go here. And then deployers. You're going to go here. You're going to be placing haunted stone. They're going to break it. It's going to fall in there. We probably don't need this to be lower, right? Or should I drop this? I should. I might want to drop this down one lower. Yeah, I might. I might want to do that. Just to make sure that we're giving ourselves the room. You know, it would have been nice if I would have brought my creative flight into this. Eh, oh well. Right? You might need to look at Chapter 5 Magic to get an idea. No. Those fingers are going to get hurt. <laughs> One up was fine. Okay. I mean, I have, I have a pretty good understanding of how to set this up. They should place the block here, right on the drill, because it's always a two block, the empty space and the block ahead. I mean, it might still try to place the blocks right in front of it. I mean, we could always do this to make sure that it places only that block there. And chain drives. Single power source here. Probably the same ones that's powering the wheel. Oh, right, plan on doing that. Okay. That's what I'm wondering. Am I crushing items or mobs? I'm mobs. So we have to generate the mobs. So we're creating an ore that needs to be broken by these drills. The ore spawns the mob. The mob falls into the crushing wheels. It generates XP. The XP gets stamped. And then it gets turned into XP. Not normal XP like the kind we could use to repair our tools, unfortunately. Because... For that, we would need another way, I guess. Because, like, can we get this experience? This is from Reliquary. This is from Sophisticated. We would have to get the backpack upgrade, and then we'll have it. I think. Because I don't think this one... This doesn't repair items, right? No. Wait, what if your items... Dang, man. See, 25, 15, 29. 
No. Okay. Yeah, that's going to do the thing. That's going to send it. So we got to get this haunted material up here. And... the best way for us to do this. Shoots, probably. Oh, and I'm out of shoots. We'll have to go make some more, but I'll get an idea. Of where I need to get my... I mean, that works, but that's... Uh, that might... You know what? That'll actually work. I was thinking maybe we could... How am I going to get an item over to here, though? That's the... That's a problem. Um, a chest. Yeah, a chest. We'll just do a regular chest. You missed the adjustable chain from the older version of Create? Uh, adjustable... Like, oh, adjustable crate. Oh, yeah. Now, now they use something different, right? Yeah, that should work. Replace it with an item vault, but chests are cheaper than item vaults and they're the same size. If you're only going to use two places, then just do this. Item vaults cost, that would be four iron needed, whereas this is just wood. Item vaults can go three blocks though. Or more if they're bigger. Oh, not what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, um... We need to head back real quick. You don't feel like the mechanical arm is not needed anymore. Oh yeah, mechanical arm would work for this, wouldn't it? We could have used a mechanical arm. Why do you not want to go in my inventory? Yeah, but Dark Fan, I'm not, uh, I'm not messing around with villagers today. No villagers today. I mean, we used them a little bit today, but. <clears throat> no, we, I, I did. Okay, so I thought about this for a while. This was right before you, you popped in. We, I, I pondered on it. 
of a world where instead of me farming the ore the way they want me to, I instead use turtles to farm iron, redstone, lapis, and gold, and copper. But, chat talk me out of it. Chat, chat talk me out of it. I, I almost used tortoises. And I almost derailed my entire stream for that reason, <laughs> to, to go that route. Almost. Almost. What chat would have been fun? Yeah, chat, chat did that. It was 100% chat. I honestly wish. I wish chat was more fun sometimes. They just have no, they just don't, they just don't want us to have fun. Did we? It was a hunt. It was a uh, chat. I'm going to be more specific. It was, it was chat as in one person. <clears throat> and that was mad Larkin. That was mad. A hundred percent. It was all mad. <laughs> or was one iron permitted a thing? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have been one iron per minute because I would have had multiple of them. Like, I mean, I would have had a whole farm. They're so easy to get, and then I'm they're so easy to name tag that I would have had an entire farm of them. And we would have just built a big farm. That's all we would have done. <clears throat> would have been simple. Simple, simple, simple. All right, so we'll use a chain drive. Yeah, tortoises could have could be a thing. One hundred percent could be a thing. Hear the fun police. All right, we need a haunting. Um, and then we also need a smelting. Might still have to go back to the base. No fun. We need more water wheels. And we can just extend this out, right? We can go to at least this far. No. Okay, whatever. Those are getting pretty good with these create setups. I mean, eh. they could always be better. Sorry if you see me turning my head. Like, what's going on over here? This 
This is so much easier though with with like our uh, our spells and stuff with Ars Nouveau. I have infinite water. I can just place water on demand anywhere I want. Why is our frame rate so bad? What is going on? What have I done? What gods have I cursed? It does not like down here, man. The, it's so bad. Create belts are bad. I mean, yeah, I know create belts are bad. I do know that. But. Hmm. It's amazing to be able to do that. This is almost like a whole new water wheel in itself. I hope this is going to be enough. See, up here, it's not too bad. I mean, it is bad. The thing is, is we don't have to be here often. That's... We can have laggy setups. I don't really care. That's why we moved our storage hub. I just couldn't have it where I craft things. It's just awful. It was absolutely nasty. It was just down there that was really bad. seen a lot of youtubers changing from using belts to drains for item transport when you say a lot that's weird i don't know i mean yeah you but you can only send items through water but just I, that's just such a pain that's what pipes are for like exist for you know Uh, let's go get some filters, and then we'll, we should be ready to go. I can use, yeah, I have access to integrated dynamics. I don't want to use integrated, integrated dynamics though for that. You know, it's not too bad if we have like small setups. I just, I'm utilizing my cobble gin because I don't want to, I didn't want to set up another cobble gin. Like this cobble gin is more than a sufficient to do all of this stuff. I just didn't want to set up another cobble gin. How do you scroll through possible items in JEI? Um, you just scroll well? Oh, what you seen me just doing there? I was just clicking. I was hitting R. Or, yeah. I was just clicking until I got to the one. Yeah, because I knew eventually in there, normal wool would be in there, and I didn't want to search for it. That was me being lazy. Sorry, Jen. Okay, can be crushed. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't have to make it stone, did we? We could have just haunted cobblestone, right? Oh, we could have just done infested cobblestone. Oh, well. 
It has to be stone. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I didn't. All right. Well, smelted. Uh, deny list. Attribute filter. And then deny list can be haunted. Add. All right, now let's see if we can get these stress units traveling up here, baby. That's working. All right. Um, and then to send to our crushing wheels. <clears throat> this is where we're probably going to find out we also still don't have enough stress. Possibly. Possibly. the wrong way so this has to be a shaft we need more wheels more wheels Called it. I did call it in there. What's wrong with me. That's okay. We easily can can add more wheels. Wheels are just so cheap too. What's the size of this, right? This is, um... It is a one, two, three, four, five... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only five. How many water wheels we need? <laughs> Double or nothing? <laughs> We need to, we have to put gearboxes on these, right? Yeah, gearboxes. Okay. Yeah, we'll put a gearbox that way it, well? No, we just need the wheel to be facing this way and spinning in the opposite direction. Yeah, we need the we, we need the water on this side for this setup. Yeah, we need to see the water on the opposite side. And then this side. Welcome to the brain power stream. Okay. Burn an RPM. power
This chosen cyborg person is a pretty big fan. They're 45 month subscriber. Only 45 months. Can you can you believe how long I went without a an actual bot? Because I've been streaming since 2015. 2015, chat. Okay, I should be able to How should I how should I do this? I think just a vertical gearbox. No. That'd be a better way to do this. Just a diagonal belt. Yeah, diagonal belt's probably the best thing to do, honestly. You think right up to here? Yeah. All right. Um, let's give it a test run. Let me grab some cobble. Hey, that's stone. Why did that not go? It's going to cook to polish. I thought we set this up before and it didn't do that. <clears throat> I swear we have this issue and I was like, cause I thought that it would do that. It would cook till polish, but it didn't. So you're telling me. Can be smelted deny list. There it goes. Why? Wait, what's going on? I swear this was not working at our base. I mean, it's good to know that it is working right now, but it was not working at our... It was not. How did it get up there? The belt. Didn't even see it on the belt. I know it happened so fast. Um. Okay. I mean, I have a solution to this, but... Oh, God. No, I did not. Okay. I have, a, I have a solution to this. But I don't have any on me. Just do that. Yeah. We'll just use a regular filter. Um, that'll just have to do for now. I 
I should really have the portal, like, place me where the portal's at. Is there no drawers? There are drawers. I could use a drawer to func to, to funnel it, but... Um... I'm gonna use the barrel. Or a chest. Honest, I wanna use a barrel. Okay, so stone. Um, allow list. And then let's extend this. That should work because of the haunting. Great, now let's try this again. Test run number two, take two. Now, yes, I know that as of right now, it's only going to do the first slot. Okay, then it gets haunted. There it goes. It should go up the belt. Silverfish. XP. And then we, we can use... Um, That should guarantee the uh, the nuggets. Yeah. That's going to be pretty sick and really powerful. Holy smokes. Here's the thing. I feel like we should store experience blocks over experified orbs. Because this has to press 10 times. But these stack to 16. We can store experience blocks. You know, we got to go back to the base. We got to go back to the base. No, we need to we need to make the max XP things cuz they give you way better experience. We need drawers and drawer upgrades. All right, let's make a spruce drawer. We're gonna need a couple of these. And then we need a couple of drawer upgrades. Or we can use functional storage or sophisticated storage. Let's just go this route. That's 16 times the storage. That should be plenty. Now, for the experified stuff, though, we're probably going to need diamond. At least, because it only stores 16. And then we're going to need void. I think I have some on me. Or we have void upgrades in the other one, right? Um, yeah, I think I have some. <coughs> That'll have to be done. Otherwise, we're going to get... We're going to have a problem. It does fling sometimes. I mean, regular hoppers could work. It's weird, Cube. How do you feel? How do you feel bad for Silverfish? 
don't feel bad for them. In this pack, they live to serve a purpose at least. Otherwise, they would just, well, they would just be done. Ooh, we should just do a compacting upgrade. Should do a sophisticated storage barrel with a compacting upgrade. No. No, let's just do it this way. Let's do it by pressing them. It does cost more stress, but I mean, we have all the stress in the world to work with right now. Let's first, though, buffer them in a barrel. So that's something that we definitely need to do because I know we're not going to be able to keep up. So let's buffer in. Oh, I didn't make drawers. I didn't make the drawers, but we turned them into crafting upgrades. Dang it. What was the other thing I was going to make while I'm here? We were going to, I was going to try and do the compacting upgrades. Ah. Uh. I want a barrel. I, I like the functional storage. I mean, there are the single ones. I'm going to do this. Though. I like this. I should make a bunch of these. Yeah, I'm not going to make the compact. It would it would be better to do, I think. But I, I almost want to see the motion of the thing falling down on it. And then sending it onto a line of more presses down a belt line. Like, I feel like that's kind of cool. So that'll go into a drawer. Right? And then we need to take out of the drawer and go into this. Um, and then this is going to receive a press. Let's get some funnels. I think this will only accept one item at a time anyways. We'll do this. And... This, and we'll set this to nine items exactly. Funnel to accept it. Well, actually, we could probably get away with a regular funnel here. Yeah, just a regular andesite to sort of save on them. I know we don't need to save on them, but... That should work just fine. <clears throat> oh, also, I need to remove that. Hold on. Um, I need one of the experiences. I shouldn't have eaten them all! Do I have a, my magnet? Let's turn that off. Um, configuration tool. Lock that drawer. And then we'll put a upgrade on it, being gold. That'll hold 32,000 XP. And then this needs to be on here, sending out exactly nine. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't matter. It stores at 16, so whatever. Um, then we need presses. We're getting there. We're getting there, chat. This is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Where's my press? Processing. Presses. Good thing I made more presses, too, because I, I wasn't... I didn't think that I was going to need to press this in times. 
You can bonk it 10 times in the cauldron as well? No. The cauldron turns it into what gets bonked. I think we just need one. I'm just going to use one. And bonk it 10 times. Maybe. Or how, how would that work? It has to be bonked 10 times. So we just, we need 10 of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can loop, but it's probably not a good idea to loop. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. I bet looping five would actually be okay. Maybe having five, five of them. And we could easily loop five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do a belt. Right, and we can, we can just belt the items. Also, I noticed some experience ended up flopping out of here. That's not good. Uh, we might need to block this in. Put blocks all around this. Okay. Create and spilling items everywhere. I swear it's the name of the game. Yeah, I feel like this won't cause us too much of a problem. <laughs> Nobody likes floppy experience. I know, Trace. No floppy experience. We don't want it. Okay, actually, I'm going to keep these off for now because I, I don't know what that third product is going to look like and we need to technically pull that in and then let everything else fly by all right let's get um get some power to this stuff I'm thinking we do gaffs here. Well, I could actually, I can just pull off the, the belt. Just pull off the belt. And we can do that right here. Vertical gearbox. And we'll use more gearboxes. Why not, right? Oh, wait, I can't use a gearbox here. Not going to work the way I thought it was going to. Why not? Uh, because if I put a gearbox here, vertical gearbox only goes one way and the sides don't connect. 
I could do a... Yeah, we can just do cogs. Well, cogs need to be powered as well. If we do two cogs like this, then we could power that one cog. That's actually a good idea. Look at you guys being devishly smart. So these are the ones that need to be filtered. So we'll do a brass. This will be sending out. This will be Tech Josh turned on the sprinkler. This making it rain 10,000 bits. Coming back around. Test this, 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 this. Scared the crap. And he used the sussy bits. Dang it, dude. Scared the freaking crap out of me. God, dude, tech. Uh, holy crap, man. Been lurking and bye. I'm going to dinner. Have a good one, tech. Thank you so much for all the support today. Thank you for the hundred freaking or tit. Sorry, I say a hundred bits because a hundred dollars in bits. But thank you for the 10,000 bits. Jesus Christ, dude. Man spawns an army and says bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. We'll get through them eventually and I'm getting tripped up. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Good, good on the trips. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, just when you thought that you were about to, to have a contraption set up. Oh no, this was the worst. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm still managing somehow. Oh, my brain wants to go the other way. Oh God, that doesn't help. No, no, uh, believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, flipping my screen upside down does not help. Look, we have an imposter. Get an imposter in the group. <laughs> That's one way to take the stream from, from chill. So what the heck is going on real fast? <laughs> oh God. And boop. <laughs> Jeez, man. Have a good dinner tech. Thank you, by the way. Cheers. Oh man. <laughs> One way to make chaos, utter chaos. All right, we still got some more. Let's look at some more over here. All right, let's get these. <laughs> We're going to wrench them to death. There we go. Holy smokes, dude. Enjoy your dinner if you haven't left already. And how dare you use those sussy bits? Oh, shame, 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 shame. Jesus. Oh my god. I wonder that just rem that just gave me time to think actually uh doing that. Can is there Tech like Josh oh my drop god. Dropped their cat and 5000 bits exploded from it. Meow. Cheers actually Meow. going now. Meow. Bada bada boom. Ah, okay. Yeah, I actually going now. Tech. Dude. Would you, I, yeah, can't even talk. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Oh my god. That's making me hungry talking about dinner. I am actually kind of hungry. I had a little uh, fruit bar thing when I went in for break. Went in and took a, took a break. <laughs> 
attack with the 5,000 more freaking bits, dude. You absolute boss. Oh, jeez. It's such an odd way of trolling. It's, I mean, it's not trolling. It's 100% not trolling. Goodness. The corner of Tech Josh is in every corner of the world. <laughs> make a totem pole from all those heads. What we should do. I think we can make a totem pole, can't we? The corner here. The totem of text. It gets kind of trippy whenever you do it like this, by the way. <laughs> a spiral because <laughs> it's here and I have points we'll get them in derp tech have a good night I may not be back by the time you're done with dinner don't know we'll probably wrap things up once we get this whole thing somewhat completed this was sort of the main goal of today I wanted to check the attribute filter so Tagged nuggets. Okay, so this does not have a tag related to it. Uh, so I was hoping there may be a tag that was like in process. But doesn't look like there's a processing tag. But you can filter very specifically with these. And we can pull in when it is in this very specific thing. So respect data and allow list. And so then we can put this here. And put that very special filter in there. And so now it should be able to go on that belt. And then it'll only output right there. So. Um, how am I going to do this? I know. I know what I need to do. Nope, not a triple gearbox. Not a triple gearbox. Uh, we actually need a single vertical gearbox. And then... Gear drive. Um, and then we are going to need to block this off. So... There we go. So now what should happen is then this will go back through the line. We've essentially looped this. And that should turn into XP orbs. Okay, that can then be stored. Hopefully in a barrel. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, and then funnel. Storage. What will you use those Experified thingies for? I think we use them for processing stuff later on, but for right now we're using it as just experience. It's just a way for us to get a ton of experience. Right, so... Look at this setup though, Jesus Christ, it's crazy looking. 
these trains of create machines. It's just a crazy contraption. What was it? Rule Ger Rule Goldberg machine, right? That's what like create kind of is. You build these like rule Rube Goldberg? Rune. Is it Rune Goldberg? Rube? I thought it was Rube. Rube Goldberg? Rube Goldberg machines, yeah. Essentially. Um, okay, under storage, we do have these. Okay, so we will need to void if those go over, because otherwise we're going to cause a mess over here. Um, and then what else? Feels a lot like playing the incredible machine, yeah. And then we just need to put that diamond filter on here because of this is not going to store that much of those orbs. Okay. Um, there's only really one thing left for us to do, and it's to put this thing on. Um, round robin what we should notice is once that fills up we'll start both going and then it'll go all the way up to five It is spitting it all over the place, isn't it? Is that because the belt can't hold it? like smart shoots fix this problem Okay. That's right. This needs to be... Pushed out. How's it without shoots at all? Um, I think it's worse.
Can we go overboard here? I think we went overboard. I think the smart shoots would do like stacks. Um, I need this to kind of stop, but it's not going to, is it? Uh, let's try smart shoot. That seems to be working. Oh God, no, it's not. Okay. Do smart shoots need to be filtered? At least we have experience. Do you need a brass funnel? having the same problem. And it's like funnel can only do one at a time. I, I think if it stacks on here, it can it can take a full stack. Speed up the belt. I turn this off. It's just residual. Free foot isn't fast enough. I get my, I think, is it catching up? It might be catching up actually. Yeah, the belt beat does need to go faster. OK, 
Okay. Um, let me think about how to speed the... Because I do want to speed the whole thing up. Let's see. Can I gear... Can I... I should just do a gear ratio, right? Uh, I could use a speed controller, but... I don't want to speed this up. I just want to speed this belt line up. This is going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, I turned that off. Okay. Okay. So, um, what we'll do is we'll move this like that. That'll also speed all this up because this is coming from our setup. Okay, that's enough. Quit. This is crazy, Chet. This is ins like actually insane. What are we even doing with our life right now? This is pure chaos. We already have 106 of these things. How many can this store? 12,000. So it's going to store 12,000 of those. Oh my god. That's because they only do 16 per stack on that, unfortunately. Okay. So this is fine. We'll turn that. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to then take the speed... And we need to large cog it. Small cog. Large cog. Small cog. Large cog. That should gear ratio up. I'm breaking everything here. Let me just have my blocks. Okay. I need to case that. Gear. Case that. Cog. Small cog. Preferably run. Actually. I wonder how much... This is the fastest XP ever made. Wonder how much... I mean, I could probably just send this... This way. Instead. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right direction. About to find out, though. Oh, it's not even spinning. Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. Oh, that's because we'd have to make this. Oh, shoot. But doesn't that make it accessible on the other side? does let's go and make a rotational speed controller that makes this so much easier what am i doing here why am i even worried why am i even doing it this way we need a speed controller oh how's it going my dude how's it going big red welcome bud i think we've hit our cap on this too Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. We can probably build this to max stress.
Tells me what storage mod is that? You've never seen that before. That's integrated dynamics. Yeah, integrated dynamics. Very interesting. And I just have uh, connectors connected to it. It's these like blue logs. If you've never seen the mod that uses these like blue logs from that mod. 56 XP. Okay. So with this, what we can do is just hook up the speed controller with like a, once we have this plugged in, hook it in with a shaft, right? And then that's going to go into a cog, a large cog. And then we need to simply get the rotation out of here and into this. And so nothing should change in direction. That should be fine. And then I should be able to just simply put that there. My belt is going the wrong way, but that's fine because we'll rotate this. Until it's stressed out. Okay, we can keep going. Okay. Keep going. We are maxed out, baby. <laughs> Holy crap, man. These moments that make create so good. Oh my god. We still have spillage, but that could be that's easily fixed, I think. With like some building blocks. Because I feel like it's spilling from here. Hobble into XP. <laughs> this is nuts. And let's let's turn it back on. We we have it turned off right now, technically. Turn it back on. We need this set to round robin. And uh, this bad boy is ready to be kicked off. I don't know what we can do with these XP orbs other than use them for XP, but um, I guess later on they're used for making eternal Stellas. Uh, I think we got this problem solved though. I just wanted the XP. Bonkers. Literally bonkers. Yeah, they fill up the Hephaestus Forge bar. Oh, wait, can you use these as XP for the Hephaestus Forge instead of bottles of experience? I never thought about that. I've always like worried about getting bottles.
It's so satisfying because it's going like... It's like rolling them. Dang. Now the good thing is, is even if this fills up, I don't have to avoid this. If this fills up, we should still be good. This is going to hold 12,000 of these. More than enough XP forever. Uh, but we do need to worry about how we're going to manage XP. Um, now, I think one of you guys said that we can upgrade our bag. Um, like I can have one. I can have like this backpack. Right? This backpack is it has an up no i need a bag that has an upgrade slot so the only one i have is this and we would need an obelisk to get an upgrade slot and then i would also need final pcbs to get an upgrade slot so we would need two obelisks because i would want to make one of my bags here probably another they're all brass right this one's not brass I thought one of these were bigger than the others why is this one bigger this is a brass backpack oh this one's already been upgraded so yeah we would do like a brass we would change one of these Um, and I would put an upgrade on it for my feeding upgrade. That way I can, I will be fine auto eating. And then we need to, we need to get the pump upgrade and stuff. What's an obelisk? I'll show you in a minute. We're about to make one. We, we can make them. We can kind of push a little bit ahead in the pack and, and make one. Technically. Okay. Because we have a little bit of Munda Beater dust. Munda Butter. Um, the thing that's a pain, right? That we're going to have to do is... It's making the obelisk. Which I believe uses the Arcane to polish Darkstone. Little wiki page. It'll be uh, items. The wiki page is so bad for this. Um, Munda Beater Dust. The obelisk. Is there a thing for it that shows us how to build this? Is it this one? Is it arcane polish dark stone or? Okay. It is. Yes. Okay. So it's these. Okay. So we need, we need one of these, two of these. No, one, one. And polish dark stone. Okay. And then we need a couple of these. That should get us two. Which honestly, wait, hold on. 
Is it one? Okay, so just to get one upgrade slot needs one obelisk. So yes, we'll have two of these. And then we hit them with the Munda Beater Dust. And these turn into the Arcane Obelisks. And I'm assuming that's what they want. To upgrade the backpacks. Right? Now it has another slot, yeah. And you can find all this from looting, so you can find all this stuff from looting. I'm just going to make this one my, uh, my backpack for that. We're looking good, we're looking good. <clears throat> now for the fun part, and that's getting the backpacks further upgraded, right? This is this backpack. Okay. So we need a pump, and then we need the XP pump. The, those will probably be a pain to figure out how to do. But I'm gonna take the feeding upgrade out, and I'm gonna put the feeding upgrade in this bag. And it maintains its uh, filter and everything. So we'll still be able to auto eat with that bag. <clears throat> this one is going to contain our main tank. And I think it takes up some of our backpack space. Which I'm kind of worried about, actually. take a bunch of stuff out for now put that in this backpack for right now Okay. Um, so we have slates, so we should be fine. These are so hard to see in JEI. Uh, everlasting smelting, crafting, stone cutter, stacks, advanced refills, deposit. Advanced restock. We need the XP pump. This one. And then we also need the tank slate. So it's not, not too bad. Tank slate, and then we'll have an XP slate. We just need this. And this. Okay, and there's no, like, upgradable... That should just work, right, in our bag. So there we go, and we have that going in. Okay. So this will store our experience, and then what we can do is say... Right here, repair items with mending. And it's repaired. There we go. And it will now pull automatically, anytime we use our tool, it'll pull from our current XP bar and refill our tools. That's pretty powerful. Can you put holding on that backpack? Um, no. 
You put reactive on it. But uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the only way to make it store more XP, so there's a way you, you can do that, but it requires more upgrade slots, and we don't have PCBs yet. Final PCBs are insane that it's, it requires two of them to unlock another slot. That's, that's insane. Final PCBs are such a pain in the butt. And I don't even know, I don't know if they're changed in here. Did they leave them the same? What is all these extra PCBs? What is this? PCB assembly package? Oh, did they make it easier? Did they make final PCBs way better? Oh my god, they did, I think. Oh, oh, wait, no, never mind. Wait, what? I don't want to look at this. I don't want to look at this. Yes and no, still a bother. Okay. Oh, yeah, you still have to go through the same. Interesting. PCB legend assembled package. Wait, it requires these machines? Do they, did they make the machines not require PCBs? Oh, okay. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so these these don't require us. Okay. My brain goes, wait, but those require those require the PCBs. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Why is everything so complicated? The mod pack because that's the fun of it, right? You to come up with creative ideas. There's a rotational compressor. Yeah, that's right. We can get pressure from rotation with create. Which sounds kind of nice. If there's a way to shut it off with redstone. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the... the Let's go back to our XP farm, because I'm just kind of, like, at all about that right now. That's insanity. We can do so much now with enchanting because of that. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're not here, does this not work? But what happened there? Belts are blocking the belt. Like I thought it was working. We sat here for quite a while.
brass funnel pulling from the back belt. No, this part needs to be fast. This part honestly needs to be faster than this part. Okay, so it's about to catch up. Or maybe not. It does appear that it is processing at least a little bit faster than we're actually producing the XP. Or I'm losing my mind in thinking that because of the numbers I'm seeing here. But what I'm wondering is, is this still working when we're not here? Because that number dwindled when it would have stayed steady, right? I have it chunk loaded. Oh, it would have been overstressed. Oh, I don't have the water wheels. Ah, uh, it would have been overstressed. Also, this, this may have been a problem. Because it was sending out small XP, which it should have never been able to do. I don't know why it was doing that or how it was doing that. But it was. So. This should fix it. I'm not sure how I understand these presses are supposed to work. Uh, it has to press these. It has to press this block 10 times. So it's sending it through its first wave. Um, right here. Uh, it has a sequence. This is processing. This is process nine of 10 because it didn't let it do its last one. Um, but yeah, it has to process it two times or 10 times. And so I'm taking the one version. I'm sending it back through instead of having 10 presses. I only have five. But yeah, we have 700. Like, this is crazy because of how fat, how much, like, experience this actually is. I think these give you, like, straight... It gives you so much XP. I mean, that's a lot of XP. Dang. I mean, we can effectively enchant. Just, I mean, we're still limited by the the enchanting sequence. It's more XP than I know what to do with. I know, right? I mean, I know what we're going to do with it. We're going to make it so we don't ever need experience down the road. <laughs> Still, what a cool machine. I love this like flopping animation that it does. Bloop, bloop. Been gone for a couple of hours. What have you missed? A lot. We've set up the ultimate silverfish annihilation station well, we also well earlier you seen the uh, the tunnel bore so we've done a tunnel bore today collected a lot of resources and now have more xp than i'll ever know what to do with and also we now have ourselves a pump like our storage is a lot more limited inside here but that's fine Look at that, 23 hours on this time in the bottle. 
But yeah, this is going to build up to 12,000. Yeah, this is the Annihilation Station. We should change this to. Might want to lock that drawer just in case. Down the road, we can definitely lock it. I'm not going back right now. I don't know why I haven't done this already. I should have, I should have already done that. Feels good though to have these tools available to us. That's the thing. Like I'm setting myself up to have tools. I know it's not, I'm not automating or anything, but I am setting up my tools to make it a little easier for me to down the road build and what have you. I will, I will be thanking myself later on for doing that. No builders one. Sometimes it's all about the process. I just want to do it by hand. I do have a, we have an infinite builders one we do. There's just something about placing things by hand sometimes. It's just, just rewarding. Feels good. I get it and agree. Yeah. All right. As far as enchanting goes, so this is the crazy part. Uh, let's get bookshelves. We need two of them, right? This is uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, and then we also need lapis grindstone. So now is when we can just like grindstone it out, right? Until we get the enchants we actually want. Vein mining. Holy smokes. Yo. <laughs> I need that in. Uh, does that come in silk touch? Does that, does that come in silk touch? <laughs> We're getting fortune three on our vein mining. I don't want that. We need silk touch on her. Vein mining There we go. Efficiency five, vein mining three. Okay, good, 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 good. Cheating? It ain't cheating. Come on now. You're jelly. You're just jelly. Efficiency four? Yeah, that's not a big deal. We have, I just wanted the only, so the only enchant we can't get through villagers is unfortunately, um, the vein miner. So now we have uh, efficiency. So we just need, um, let's see, these are efficiency. So I need two efficiency books. Two mendings. efficiency. There's my silk touch. What are you using for XP? Silverfish? Did you just get here, Freefall? You've got to see this. You've got to see this. It's insane. It's absolutely in insane. Just got here. Dude, it this is nuts. 
Like, I don't even... Uh, yeah. How can you live without labels on the villagers? I just haven't put it on there yet. Okay, we got unbreaking. So this just needs efficiency. That's it. And mending. This needs efficiency, mending, unbreaking, and silk touch. Um, so there's our silk. So this needs silk touch, efficiency, mending, and unbreaking. And then this needs efficiency, which I thought I grabbed two efficiencies. It just needs a mending and efficiency. You're curious about the silverfish generation? I am using... Um, yeah, we got an enchanter sword too. This can be insane. So I'm using um, cursed or uh, haunted blocks. Haunted stone. That's an insane pick. This is a backup pick. Can I make any runes? Um, let's see. What color do I have? I have... We have the Violet Corundum. We can make a Magenta. Too bad Silk Touch Ores don't drop XP. It's perfectly fine. We auto repair our gear with the experience that is actively coming out of us. So it, it, it fills up this from, from our backpack automatically, and then it repairs our mending gear. It's crazy powerful. <sighs> it's very different upside down. This would be a weird way to play a game. You can check uh, if you pick up tomes from Quark to boost efficiency fortune. Yes, we do have tomes. Yeah, we could. Um, we should have some. I don't know where they went. But I know I did pick some up. I know I picked some up from the, like, you find, you can find them in the strongholds. They're kind of a pain to get, but you can get them from a stronghold. I don't know what I just did. What button was that assigned to? Well, that sucks. What?
Where'd all my stuff go? That was the pickaxe? No. Um. Check my backpacks. Did it just delete everything in my inventory? Like my R sword, everything's gone. All my backpacks are gone. What is the, what was that key bind? Controls, key binds. It said deposited items. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check the cart contraption because it might have put it there. Fourteen items moved to one container of eighty-four checked in total. What in the world is that? What's the name of the mod? Do you know, chat? I think I hit like E or something, I hit R. The pickaxe does not have the enchants, and the pickaxe was was called Tom. This has uh this is vein mining one. It had vein mining three. And and even then, I'm missing my R sword that had no name. Sure, at least another chest. Oh my god. This is frustrating. I mean, we already found out that the shulker box voids items. It has to be in an item vault. There is an R sword in here. It is not liking that multiple storages, is it? <laughs> it 
It's not like reading this inventory. Do vaults work right with integrated dynamics? I mean, it looks like it should. I mean, if I make this the only node it can pull items from. Why is it not reading from this? There it goes. Maybe it was from our initial move. Maybe I never, like, moved all the cables. Oh, thank God I didn't delete our items. I was so freaking worried, man. Dang. Why did it do me that way? That did me dirty, man. There's so many items that we've lost because of that not being connected. I just didn't know. Because we have we have way more runes. Yeah, it didn't update. So yeah, it, when I moved this with a contraption, uh, Integrated Dynamics did not like me doing that. No. Integrated did not like me doing that. Now I've got to figure out what all items I had in my inventory. I don't remember. I know all my backpacks. I have my time in the bottle. I can't sort by recent, right? Sort by descending, ascending. My, uh, my bow is in here. <clears throat> it's fine. Yeah. I know a bunch of R stuff. Hey, I think that's basically it. Oh, our book. Our takeoff book. I always keep that on me. Um. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. We'll figure out whatever we need. Yeah, I had some tomes from Cork. There we go. There's all of our items. Look at that. Ridiculous. Okay. Um. These. I need five levels each, which I think is enough. Yeah, we have enough. So I want to color code them. Um. So Tom, we can make orange. And Jerry, we can make pink. Help differentiate our two different uh, picks from each other. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need my R's book. Yeah, I need to figure out what key that was. What's the name of that mod? Anti-ghost? What's anti ghost? Ars Nouveau, Chucky Face, Crafting Tweaks, Entity Calling, Create, PS Reducer Chunk Quest, Teams, Fancy Menu, Find Me, Integrated Dynamics, Called Store. No.
Quick stack. Thank you. Thank you, Bash. I hit X to dump. Get rid of both buttons. No, Craft Weaker I added. Craft Weaker's not actually in the pack, but I added Craft Weaker because I... It's just a nice client-side mod to have. Surprise it's not in the pack. Uh, outside of the fact that it could inter interfere with the crafting grid, but that has been fixed. In integrated dynamics. I believe. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So, uh, we now have crazy tools. I'm kind of scared to see how much this actually vein mines. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know how much this actually vein mines. We're about to find out. Um, That's not, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's totally manageable. Is that 64 blocks? That's not even 64 blocks. 32 blocks. Possibly. 48 blocks. 48 blocks is what it mines. Shia LaBeouf, do it! Dude, that meme, man. Also, this is, uh... This is 10. Let's so leave Azure right down here. Dang, this underwater cave is kind of kind of sick. This kind of cave exploring, this makes me want to, uh, to make the full create gear. Do I have large bombs enabled or what? I'm assuming terrain generation. This is, uh, Terralith. This is just how Terralith is. Which is what's in the pack. Uh, there's no water breathing in that R's book. Yes, there is. I just, I just haven't set up a spell to do it. This gives me uh, water breathing. Okay, so yeah, each of these picks now farm what forty eight blocks is what I, I kind of. Got out of that. 48 blocks of what it vein mines. Okay, um, oh, I was gonna show. Yeah, we gotta go back to our redstone area. Redstone hell. Because I was gonna show the enchanting setup, because it is insane. So we're breaking the silverfish block and it's crushing them in crushing wheels. And then that gives us the experience nuggies. And then we compress this 10 times to make the, uh... yeah, we already have 700. Each one of these, like each stack is like over 30 little, like it's insane. How much XP you get from these. So yeah. I still wonder though, is this working when we're not here? Like 
how's that supposed to work? Doesn't look like it did. So yeah, we're let's take a look here. We're at we're at seven hundred and sixty ish. We're under eight hundred. The final product did increased. It did okay, but maybe it's because it ran out of. Hmm. Princess Anya, welcome. Love your YouTube videos. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoy making them. Final product increase. So it was at seven sixty. Which yeah, it's gonna that's gonna go up. Um seven sixty. See, this runs out, right? Oh, I guess this is constantly running out. Silverfish might despawn. I mean, they're instantly getting crushed. The bottleneck silverfish generation. I mean, it's not bottlenecked at all. I want it to be this way. I want it to be this way. 100%. What we experienced earlier. It's weird that when, yeah, when I come back, it looks like nothing's happening. Yeah. Well, it's because I noticed this whole belt line is full right now. But when I come back, it's not. So 840, 850-ish. 850. Well, we're at our main base here. Oh, that's filled with saplings. I never fixed this. Dang it. Is this still working somehow? I fix this no I didn't I need a smart observer on a shoot that's detecting how full let me fix this now that we have the parts to do this um, and then remember, we were at like 850, right? 850. So we'll see what we work on this. Oh, I think I have them back at the... I need to bring these back with me. Yeah, I'm going to drain the saplings home. We were at like 850... I mean, it's really hard to know. I feel like while I'm here, this goes up way faster. Look at that. Look how fast that's going up. Yeah, this definitely stops working. But maybe it's doing some sort of math to calculate it. I don't know. Okay. I need redstone. So we need a... We need this. Oh, I don't have one. Okay. Uh, smart shoot. Item transfer. I need a funnel. And then I need...
Yeah, it should have made more than that. Because, like, we just blink. Look at that. And we're already at, like, a thousand. Hostile mobs can't exist out of the player range. So I doubt they despawn immediately when the stone is broken. I don't know. Nice FPS. Can I have some? I mean, only when I'm here. Because that's when my FPS goes back to normal. Yeah, we went from 850 to 925 in, like, a few seconds. Yeah, it was a poor joke. The, the, hey, the frames have gotten better, actually. They are pretty rough here, but... Believe it or not, they have gotten a little better. Alright, so... <clears throat> instead of this, what I'll do is I'll use a smart shoot. And then I will do this. And we will set that to observe the network of this for these saplings. And then we'll set this to only move to the upper lane 10% invert. So that way, uh, this is locked, right? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, but it won't be detecting, will it here? I, I need to detect off of this. I don't know how that's going to work. It's locked. Yeah, but it's it's locked right now. So is that correct? Or is it being forced into some sort of No, that works. Okay, so see that would that would send that somehow no somehow knows it's full where's the little icon i don't even see see a chest icon we would need it on here there it goes yeah It needs to be down here. Maybe the threshold switch remembers from the last time. That has shut this off.
this has this is also not sending because this is this is shut off but okay we gotta we gotta drain this whole thing out of the saplings That's empty, right? Nope. Oh, God. You're using a drawer controller to make the system a lot easier. I didn't have a drawer controller when I built this. They definitely just flung, flung the saplings into here. I definitely just did that. can replace these by the way let's um we should make this faster okay this is the problem right yeah it shouldn't be doing that we want it to detect on here and shut off So we needed to detect from here. But good, this this helps me know. wonder if this will power through a block that's not how redstone works but it could power uh no that won't work that way i was thinking it would but it's not, i don't know we need yeah we have the redstone on top um A redstone signal from the bottom of a torch doesn't toggle it off, right? We could use links, I guess. Do we get links from these? He was thinking redstone dust. Yeah, I mean, does a re will a redstone dust work? <clears throat> I don't know these things. I'm learning. I'm still learning. <laughs> Seems like you're like, no idea. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Bunch of goofballs in a boat trying to row with our hands. What it is. Okay. Um... Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works. 
It has to be in the operation mode, though. Wow. There, that, that's, that whole thing is solved now. How much were, we were at like 900, right? We would be way into the thousands. Okay, so yeah, this is this is going to work way faster. Especially now that we have this, it's going to spin, it's going to do its thing, it's going to send out the items in stacks. That's going to work way faster than it was working before. Way faster. And then it should move on. Yep. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely like it like works, I guess. But like at some crazy crazy reduced rate. Like I don't know why, but Like, it's still going up, right? Because you guys said it was at 9.25. Massively slows down, yeah. Who knows? It's not a big deal, because I don't know how many we're going to need of these. Like, how much of these orbs. Um... How many, like, Stellas do we need? Spawner core shell. You know, like, how how much are we going to actually need? Throw nether stars above Y level 320 to make them transform into Stellarite. What? <laughs> what? The other way is the ore underground, yeah. So crazy. You know, if this is going to be this way, then I might just do this. I'll use this gold upgrade for something else. Now that I see that it, it's not really needed. All right. So, um, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's pick up our container here. Uh, I don't have a lever, do I? Great. Redstone. We're done. When did that become a thing? It's only in this pack. Like, don't expect that to be in any other pack. That's definitely a this pack thing.
Man, what a day today, though. We ended up getting this thing set up. So we mined the crap out of the ground. We dug huge tunnels. And look what we found, by the way. So if you missed the stream today, uh, this morning, look what we found right by our base. This is actually really nice. We found this near our base because we did a lot of tunneling today, like four hours, four or five hours of it, like four hours at least. But right down here, which we'll have a better way to get down here eventually, right down here is my bounce stops. Just going straight down through here. Look at this. Infinite lava. Well, not this area. This area. Unlimited lava. And it's right by our base, too, which is absolutely bonkers. Right here. This is where we'll hose pulley. I mean, we're already using a hose pulley right now. Um, but this was from our train. This is what our train discovered. And if this one's not good enough, I should show you the other one. Take a look at this one. This one's even larger. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. Like a slice of the nether, yeah. So if that other area is not enough, this is going to be more than enough. Streamer luck? I guess. <laughs> oh, I have it in my offhand. I already got one of them though. I did get one of them. Maybe it's because I have two in my offhand. <clears throat> Are you sure you're not in the nether? <laughs> yep. All right. I mean, pretty much. I mean, there's where our portal land it landed. So maybe it was telling us something. I don't know. Either way, I am like, I'm ecstatic. There, we found so much today. And so, just more stuff that we're going to be able to do here soon. Exciting, chat. Insanely exciting. Okay. So... With that, chat, let's get our sleeping bag because I think that, that was something we just got. So we now have our XP farm. Uh, I need my clipboard, right? Clipboard. I don't know which one's which. I'm going to take them all. Nope, that's not it. That's it. And no, threw it away. Okay. So XP farm automated. We're, we still haven't uh, enchanted our gear yet, but we we got this done today. <clears throat> we still haven't figured out a base style and upgraded our tools to netherite. We haven't done that yet. Uh, we will go netherite farming next stream. And we'll also fully enchant our gear to max now that we have the XP farm. 
So today was XP farm. And boy, did we do that. Holy smokes. You found a ton of lost items. Yeah, true. And we found a ton of lost items in the item vault because of the weird interaction. Oh, can't wait till we also get like a theme set up for this. That's going to be really, really great. I'm going to head back over to the XP farm because that should store like 12,000 of those. Also, how's our redstone doing? This vault has me worried. Because these redstone seeds... Mm. It shouldn't fill up. It shouldn't cause a problem. Yeah, no, this would just back up. And then our redstone would just fill everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would still function. Oh, no, no. These redstone seeds wouldn't be able to go in here. I'll figure that out later. Um, I, I do have a sort of solution to fix that. Actually, temporarily. Let's do that real quick. Before we end today, I know. Right when I say I'm going to end, I end up just doing more stuff. All I got to do is do this, place down a weighted ejector, and that helps remove some of the seeds out of here that have built up and also bumps our redstone production up a little bit. We should be doing pretty good. Quick base tour. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I've got, I shouldn't, shouldn't. shouldn't we need to wrap things up <laughs> I can't I would love to there's not really a whole lot to look at just yet because we're still early on in this but at least for today this is our XP generation you'll have to check out the VODs check, out, check it out on uh, YouTube because I still have to get these uploaded all of this is over on the YouTube. All the VODs get published there onto the second channel chosen live. So definitely be sure to check that out. But we now have XP done. This is insane. And it's also the end of today's stream. So, thank you guys, by the way, so much. We blasted out of the water our subscriber goal. So, I don't even know what to set as our subscriber goal anymore. It's completely blown out of the water. Um, we are now at 1,814 subs to the channel. Um, I know most of those are gift subs. And thank you guys so much for the tremendous amount of gift subs. Here's Star Wars. Uh, how was your day? My day was great. We got a lot done today. Here in uh, in our create arcane world, it's been a lot of fun. I'm learning so much about create and like just learning to take my time. It's been it's been a thing. All right, let's find somebody to raid. It's Friday night. I want to get in with my family. Uh, let's see. Sparkles is trying out that decked out thing. Should we hit up Captain Sparkles? Should we hit up uh, Zine's playing Among Us? Dark fans back playing that. Generic B is playing the big adventures. Let's let's hit up Ginny. Hit up Generic B. Holy smokes! That's my quest. Perfect time as well. It looks like during a booger bomb. So, give Generic B some love. We're only going to make the frame rates even less over there, and he's also at a level six hype train. So it's going to be insane when you get over there. So be prepared. I don't even think you're ready for it. You're not ready. You're not ready for it, chat. You're not ready for, for, for the good old Gene Jins. Good old Herman himself. All right. So guys, <laughs> we're going to destroy his frame rate. Yeah, guys, I will see you over there. It has been an absolute blast. Thank you so much for the tremendous support today. 
That was insane. And uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you back on Monday here. But on YouTube, I should be here. I'll be here all week. I'll be here all weekend. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye, chat.